All right. Welcome back to RPG Quest, and we are back. The game 442 is the Bard's Tale on the PS2. Dinner has been had. Bellies are full. We're back to some more barding content. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Scar is sick. How's it going, Zabornak? Yeah, I didn't miss much in the first one. Just running through a dungeon. All the fun stuff. Brock, welcome back. How's it going? True Kane, hello. Mr. J, welcome back. How's it going, everybody? Yeah, it's a very tight race. <laughs> Zelhair is back to, to push it towards more S, to more SD Gundam goodness. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Burn all your points defending decks. Who wouldn't? It's decks. It's a short day of sex. I'm sure Gundam was going to be a lot of, like... Gundam's going to be one of those games where, like, I'm going to have all the animations going for the first hour, and then, like, all right, we're never going to see those again. <laughs> Considering, like, every trailer of that game is basically just the... It's just, like, the uh, the animations. That's all you get for the trailers. They never show any gameplay in the trailers. They're just like, all right, everybody's seen the gameplay. Everybody knows how the gameplay works for this. Let's just show all these cool animations we made for this, this version. <laughs> That's basically it. Spurge 400,000 for Monster Hunter stories. Well, that, one was, that one was a close race too, so at least that one definitely won. <laughs> Next fast forward would be something terrible, yeah. Yeah, this one was definitely an iffy fast forward. Like, there's not, there was no, like, big titles, you know what I mean? It's all, like, at least for the most part, it was, it was fresh. Wasn't there one of them that already had votes, although, like, a few votes? Maybe Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Feels like one of these came up before, but maybe not. Maybe they were all brand new. Yeah. Yeah, nothing nothing absolutely terrible. Nothing absolutely good. It's just very, like, middle of the road. Very eh games, right? Mar okay, yeah, Marvel. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, eight, eight votes. And how many votes does it have now? Oh, it, it doubled its votes. It didn't even double the votes yet. <laughs> it's, it's almost last place. Or Marvel. Then again, I did just play, like, X-Men Legends recently, so it's like... It's more X-Men Legends. Alright, let's start the timer. Let's jump right in. We're in... I don't know. I don't even know what chapter I'm in right now. Where were we? Oh, yes, the bard was making an ass of himself. Thanks, Tony. Can I really... Like, the audio in this in this game is very, like... It's very low. I don't know why this game has so such low audio. It's like, it's like who said that? It was the the healer. This guy again. A good old Tammy Tommy Tallarico. To tell you the truth, I didn't expect to see you here. I congratulate you on making it thus far. Perhaps there is more to you than first meets the eye. Let's go nice. You again? Let's put an end to this. Such bravado. I wonder, can you back it up? I have but one question. Who wants to die first? Apparently you do. Kill him. What? Apparently he died first. <laughs> I love how the other ones just stood back and waited. I'll kill you myself then. Apparently. Because we can shit. Calf bad. So many crystals. Drop any new weapons or, or songs. Healing! Healing! Alright. Going up there, I'm assuming. Gotta make sure we don't miss any treasure chests. Oh, somebody died. Who died? My spooter. Murdered my spooter. How rude. It's interesting at least they have like different not different music, but they have like uh 
they, they, they have like tunes depending on the instrument you're using. So if you're using like a lute, you're going to get a different song. Or not, not song, but a different tune. So you have lute version versus the flute version. So that's kind of cool. BPN with the raid! Raiding it back! How's it going, BPN? How was Wild Arms 3? Did, did you did you figure out all the block puzzles? <laughs> Locked in OC, yes. Felt like just today. <laughs> I remember those block puzzles being pretty, pretty rude and rough in that game. That was a new sword? No. I need an upgraded two-handed sword. I need a new one. It's been a long time since I've seen one. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> the, I mean, they, uh, those, those those blocks were rough enough without color blindness. I could just imagine the color blindness. That'd be nasty. Yeah, wow. And of course, that's, that's in the era of gaming where there's no, like accessibility options to change the colors to to make it work for you, right? So that that kinda sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the game definitely drags on. It's it's definitely not a short game by any means, so yeah. It's that era of gaming where they just decided like let's just let's just make these games long as possible. Instead of like, hey, you know, let's just do we have a reason to make this long? No, we just we just need to make it long because it's got to be the next big thing, right? You know, it's a great game, but yeah, there's definitely a point where you just like, it's like, all right, I've had enough. Let's get this done over with. I think I had XF on a. Uh, or alter code F on a uh, fast forward one point. Not my spooter again. Oh, my spooter survived somehow. Hey, Servo, how's it going? Yeah, the music in this, I mean, the music that does exist is okay. For, for for a game based on like music, like on the Bard, there's very little music in game itself. You get a couple of like, couple of little jaunty like songs, which has been a while since I've had one actually. Usually you run into uh, usually in, well, I was gonna say usually in pubs, but literally only one pub has had an actual song going in it. And then uh, we had that we had two or three. Songs with, uh, like, Chosen One songs, you have the Oompa Loompas that show up. Kind of, the Oompa Loompa kind of things. But I haven't seen a uh, Chosen One's corpse in a while, so... No more Oompa Loompas. Unless I, like, missed one at some point. Yeah. They like reusing... The, the earlier Wild Arms definitely had a lot more boss variety. I guess they could just... They're like, yeah, we kind of need to do the same thing, but more. My spooter! Stop locking everything! Best music. You hear it like once, once every like couple minutes. If if your dudes are dying, but if nobody's dying, you don't hear no music. I mean, the atmospheric stuff is fine, I guess, but you nice if they gave you an option. Yeah, well, like Wild Arms One was fantastic. Two, two was okay, but I mean, it, it suffered a lot from like. 
like it felt like they ran out of, of budget for localization towards the the end of the game especially once you got to the second disc it got really bad for the uh, localization <laughs> so that was kind of kind of rough for for that part of it but the game itself is fine Killed my healer. You... Three, three is definitely a uh, a great one. Four, I haven't played four yet, but I hear four is definitely one of the. Is, is that? No, it's Suikoden Four. I know is one of the worst ones of the Suikoden series. I don't know if four is highly regarded for Wild Arms. I guess, I don't know, by the point, by the time they came out with 5, I guess the series wasn't doing all that well, so 5 is the last of the series. There's no chest or anything here. This looks like some sort of barrier. Maybe, maybe we're going to come back through this area or something. Or this is going to open after we're done. Your count changed, you logged in, your number is missing a plus 1. Weird. Wild Arms 5 is great. Yeah. That's what I hear. It's like Suikoden 5, Wild Arms 5. Those were pretty pretty well regarded. And then the, the last of the series. Neither of the series uh, survived past the uh, the PS2 for some reason. I guess it could be like changing hands and stuff like that. And Yeah, RPGs aren't exactly cheap to make, so a lot of studios, they just get to the point where they're just like, alright, well, we don't want to spend the amount of money it costs to make some of these for the amount of money we get for it. We can get money easier making these other things, so it usually ends up happening. Unless, of course, the, the companies usually, like, you know, concentrating on RPGs, like Square Enix, obviously. But for those other companies, I guess, yeah, just it wasn't worth their trouble. Which is unfortunate. Zap them. Uh, this, game, <laughs> this game stutters a lot. This game can't handle the awesomeness. Polished bones, man. Killed that guy so hard we took his bones out of his body and polished them. We're getting a lot of cash. I'm sure we're going to spend it a little as soon as we hit town. Impossible. Having three dudes summoned definitely helps quite a bit. You can definitely get some good damage out without having to like babysit all your dudes. Like nothing in there. No. Sometimes you get stuff that jump out of those chests and they're like practically invisible. I'm sure if I miss some things, because you get a little tiny thing that, j that falls on the ground and you don't see it. <laughs> Those I don't miss any of the, like, the uh, songs and stuff like that. New game engines took a bit of, yeah, that, I guess that's a lot of problems, right? They just weren't able to, they weren't able to continue with the HD systems. Because making a new game engine and, and like an HD device was just too expensive, I guess. They just figured it wasn't worth it. Yeah, a couple of them went to handheld stuff, but yeah, even then... Like, you can't really take a, a, a 3D game like Weld Arms and then stick it to the, you know... To the handhelds of the time. It just went to work too well. The bard had battled his way through ice and snow to reach the mountain tower. Inside awaited the most deadly adversary he would yet face. Who knew? The bronze warrior Lu, second of the Tower Guardians. Good old Lu. It's 
That's not how you play a flute, by the way. The bard doesn't know how to play instruments. I guess he was playing it like a uh, recorder. <laughs> the thing wasn't playing it like a flute. Sounds like an arena. I gotta wait for my uh, healer to slowly make our way over here. I was wondering when you would get here. I've been anticipating your arrival for some time now. I am, of course, Lou, the guardian of, of this tower. And you are the man that did an old harm? You seem a bit soft to me. Obviously, a matter of opinion. Look, can we just get this over with? I've a princess to rescue, and the sooner you go down, the sooner she'll... <laughs> well, can we just get this over with? Princess? <laughs> I admire a man who dies for the woman he loves. Who said anything about love? Before we fight, there are a few formalities we must observe. First, would you care to turn back? Turn back? <laughs> not bloody lightly. Not after everything I've been through. Turning back is not an option, my friend. I was hoping you'd say that. Behold my arena. Impressive, isn't it? Get your blood flowing and ready to fight just being here. There are only two things that really get my blood flowing. One you can't afford, and the other would not be socially acceptable. Now, how shall we do this? Oh, it isn't that easy, my friend. Remember those formalities I spoke of? You've got to prove yourself worthy before you of course. are facing me. If there's any way we can forego that whole worthy part, I don't know. Let's start with something easy. A real man would be able to defeat my lackeys before time expires. This is time based. Of course, they block like crazy. Berlin. They block like crazy, might as well just mace them to death, flail them to death. Very good, but my youngest sister could have done the same. Now let's make things more interesting, shall we? Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Jesus. I definitely want to use the flails on these guys. To flail on the first group, definitely no flail on the second group. <laughs> group was gonna murder the hell out of us. Somebody in need of healing? Skip. Skip. Skip it. Skip it. Charge! I'll take care of things. Back off. Right behind you, dearie. Come to me. Over here. Hold back. Right behind you, dearie. Yeah. Stand your ground. I'll stay right here. Bring him here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Come to me. In a moment, my pretty. Charge! I'll take care of things. Much easier. 
Now I'm starting to see why you defeated her. Let's see how good you really are. Kill my dudes. Of course not. Nonetheless, I wonder how will you handle a more balanced attack? Run over here. Stand your ground. I'll stay right here. Now. Care of things. Healing. This is a more balanced attack, by the way. Isn't it exactly the same group as we fought last time? Oh, I guess those ones that charge at us were, but these guys are different. Level up, sweet. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's get some rhythm. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics Aww. of some strength is maxed out. A high vitality will increase the bard's At maximum strength. Or if they can go over if you use uh Dangerous. Different Perhaps tokens. Sort of test is in order. What? No timer? Are your games over already? I was just starting to have fun. Oh, I have one game left. You like this one. The goal is simple. Make it to the top of the tower alive. I'll see you there. I hope so. I'd love to deal with you myself, but I doubt you have what it takes. Uh huh. Run away, you wimp. Well, right now, it's hard to tell, because, like, progression metric-wise, like, the... There's, there's two progression metrics. There's the tunes, which, I mean, we only have, like, half the tunes, basically, unless you count the, uh... This one we started off with. So we, we only have half the tunes, and the tokens... Which are like artifact kind of things. We only have like six tokens. Well, seven now, I guess. No, six. So we only have six tokens, and there's like 25. So either these are really well hidden, I've missed a bunch, or they, they, they dump a lot of those near the end of the game, or we're way, uh, way earlier in the game than I think we are. Anything in here? Shouldn't Fireman like just instantly go out when he goes in the water, or die instantly?
The bard took a glimpse into his possible future. <laughs> Time for a song. He knew that he would need to keep his wits as well as his sword sharp to avoid the fate of the skeletal remains at his feet. I love it when you state the obvious. I'll be sure to make better use of this than you did, my friend. Upgraded Light Fairy. What? No song? What the hell is this? They just like give up with the songs now? Or are they gonna show up as soon as we leave this place? Apparently. The Oompa Loompas just they couldn't get in here, I guess. It's just so wrong. No Oompa Loompas. No pub song at the last bar we went to. We just like lost uh we just spent all the budget towards the beginning. It's like nobody's gonna reach this far in, in uh like none of the uh reviewers are gonna reach this far, so let's not bother. Wasn't done exploring. Oh, these guys are kind of annoying. There, try to block me, will you? Yeah, he, he's already funding the Amico back then. He's like, alright, let's kick start it and take even more money and not make anything. Behead. Ancient bracelet. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Dinner's is coming back. <laughs> If we just open the door, like just lift up the poor colors by ourselves. God damn it! This flail is too slow. Can't hit anything before you get like knocked back yourself. I can't. I can't use the flail. So bad. Oh god, oh god. Well, that was fun. It's kind of annoying. The, the flail is like such garbage. It's just so slow to swing. You, you almost always get like knocked back before you can actually use it. But then if you're trying to use any other weapon, usually the enemies just block everything, which just makes it super freaking annoying. So you're damned if you do, damned if you don't.
to try a dual wielding, but I don't know if I want to put another point. I guess we'll see what the abilities are. I'm definitely not going to spend any abilities on upgrading the uh, upgrading the uh, the flail abilities. That's for sure. Definitely ain't worth it. Is there anything the spider helps with the stun, with the, the guarding thing? Is that it'll stun lock them? Let's go this way. Thing we don't take damage from our fire dude. He would be the worst dude to have on your team. Goodies. More money, because, you know, we need even more money. Stunning from the spider is definitely nice to have. If we combine the spider with the uh, light fairy, everything would be stunned all the time. Then we'd be blind all the time. Light fairy just flashing, super freaking annoying. I was starting to think this is the right way because everything keeps going this way. Maybe the other way would have been like. A dead end with some treasure. We'll see, maybe I'll loop around. Advances are for naught. I guard this lever, which controls these gates. Thanks for letting me know. I wouldn't have noticed it. You cannot pass. Why do you guys always put the lever to a gate in front of the area you're trying to protect? Try putting it behind the gate. Next, you'll be telling me the keys of the doors are hidden in some random chests throughout the tower. There are no keys, only levers, and the lever is here. Because, uh, damn me for a fool, you're right! Don't be so hard on yourself, I've seen it before. It's a pretty common error. Let me put you out of your misery. Super convenient. Oh god, oh god, run away. Close the door. Let's try the upgraded light fairy. Your 
lost in the dark. Stand your ground. I'll stay right here. As the light fairy comes with us. Light fairy had one job. Lighten up. Attack. I'll take care of things. Of Light Fairy. <laughs> Alright, now that we're done through that group, go away, Light Fairy. You're blinding us all. <laughs> you should summon the anti trap dude. <laughs> Ow. Stealing all my loot. Why are we even bothering with this? Why is it so dark? What the hell? I just want you to use your light fairy here. Why would you need a life fairy when you have a dude made of fire? Lost in the dark. It's literally like a torch right here. If I, if I unsummon him, is that torch? Are we going to be back in the dark right next to a torch? Okay, I call bullshit on that. We have like a dude made of fire, and we're next to a torch. Magical darkness, I guess. Alright, trap dude. Ready to explore. Traps. Right over here. Careful, laddie. There's a trap. Put a spell on you. Yes, yes, there's a trap over there. Like, come on, come on, come over here. There's a trap. Follow me. Traps. 
right over here. We can't open this this chest. This is on a table. <laughs> Alright, Lightfairy, get away from the trap, please. I just got hit by that. Traps! Right over here! Yeah, this is just pure traps. What the hell? Trap. No enemies here, it's just all traps. Must stop. Trap. I smell a trap. Of course you do. <sighs> Must stop. Trap. even worse the effort. Looks like we have a boulder heading towards us. here. Monster Hunter Wilds trailer took a, a lot more promising than the previous one. Oh yeah. Tremors. But the movie Tremors? Never seen it. Is it any good? Is that the one where I don't think I've seen the movie, but I'm aware of, like, they're anywhere, like, on, like, soft sand. They can be, like, nommed on. <laughs> they have to, like, build everything on top of, like, rocks. Well, I mean, that's a logical thing. It's like, if there are sandworms, if you get off the sand, then generally they're not going to be able to chase you through solid rocks. That'd be my first thought. Is trap still active? No. Well, the lever... I'm still using like flail. This was a mistake. Oh my god. Oh god. So I don't know what the point of like using anything other than level one for these spells is. Level one seems to heal me fully. I think two-handed is still the best weapon. Even though I have like I haven't found an upgrade for it in forever. 
Unless I did and I didn't realize I did. So when you pick up a new wag a new weapon, usually it'll tell you. You pick up a new whatever, like a big bold thing, and then the old one would just be would be like sold instantly kind of thing. Yeah, it's still the claymore. Which is like technically weaker than this. It does more damage. I don't know what the the magic the magic aura looks like. It's got like a damage thing, but I don't know if that actually does damage. Because if it does, then clearly this uh, this this cast gear thing is is gonna be more damage than the claymore. If it does like ten to to forty two damage or something like that, if you include the magic aura. But maybe the magic order is something completely different. I don't know. Doesn't seem to do like massive damage or anything. So I also don't seem to be knocked on my ass that often with two handed sword compared to the one hander. I often get like knocked back. I guess because like it seems like when I charge the ability, like the attack, they can't, you know, they they can't interrupt my attack. But when I do a regular attack, they can. Unless it's charged up, then you know, they can't seem to stop me. So yeah, I forgot I can jump. <laughs> Something you don't need to do at all in this game. I don't know why they even included it. Maybe there's gonna be a platforming section. Hey G Zero, Summer Game Fest, where they announce like a whole bunch of like non games. <laughs> Open world survival MMO based on Dune. The only good Dune is the uh, RTS kind. Dune Two, with the spice flow. Yeah, it's usually the case. It's like, hey, we got one good thing, let's just try to shove all this other crap in there as well. Nintendo's the only one that seems to have, like, you know, when, when Nintendo announces things, they always seem to be, like, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, some, some directs that are kind of, like, meh, but, I mean, nothing... Nothing compared to a lot of other games, other developers. You just have no a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, Nintendo unfortunately is a little too litigious. That's the biggest problem. Nintendo also doesn't realize that, you know, the fan base is what, like, helps them, helps their their stuff sell, but they're like, no, we're doing this all ourselves. No, you're not. Sega, oh yeah, they're jumping on the bag the bandwagon. Black Myth was going. Is that the one that like 
They had that really cool trailer that came out of nowhere and everybody's like, holy crap, this looks like the best game ever. It's like completely unknown studio and it just, it looks super amazing. It was like, it's basically like Legend of, uh, uh, like Journey to the East there kind of thing. But like super cool looking graphics and stuff. I think that's, that's the one it was. A journey to the West? You know what I mean. Ow. God damn it. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know. It was a Souls like, but it was like super like awesome looking compared to everything else. From like a you know came out of nowhere and it just looked so amazing when it, and this is this is a few years back. Traps. We haven't heard anything since, but I guess it was pretty early in development, or maybe because they got a lot of like they got a lot of traction all of a sudden. Oops. your back, sir. I smell a trap. Dynasty Warriors. No thanks. Careful, laddie. There's a trap. You know, Dynasty Warriors is such like a big series that everybody wants to play. Trips? Okay. Traps! Right over here! Wiles and Astrobot? Yeah. Careful, like I said, uh, Wukong 1 definitely had, when it came out of nowhere there, Everybody, like, just lost their shit. It was like, holy crap, what is this amazing game that nobody's ever seen or heard about? It wasn't based on the IP. It was just this right over here. thing from, like, a practically an indie studio. Now you know how I but it looks it looked like a triple-A game easily. Like, it looked better than all the triple-A games at the time. So, like, a Trash. lot of uh, traction. Right you need to heal first before you get dead. It's probably better just to resummon them. The Power Rangers. Why? Careful, laddie. It's a trap. I'm sure everybody was clamoring for a Power Rangers game. You took in a silver horseshoe. I'm assuming that's luck. All right, Tony J. Tell us about the silver horseshoe, without telling us about the uh, the gloves. If I move fast enough, maybe he won't speak. Heavy gloves Never mind. The hide of a badger. No matter what you do, whenever you go into the tokens, he always talks about those freaking gloves. Into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. Horseshoes are reputed to provide protection from bad luck, sorceries, and the evil eye. No snarky continuation of that. So, some things he, he like continues on past what what's given in the description other stuff he just stops I smell a trap <laughs> not even worth the effort Why 
Why are we even bothering with this? These guys on the road of the trap build dark area. Yeah. I guess there's a nostalgia factor. Got to cash in on the nostalgia. Go the long way around. God damn it. Well, I'm assuming there's no treasure chest or anything, so all we'll be missing is that one dude who's probably blocking a lever that opens this door. I want to go back through that. Well, I guess all the traps are gone now. It's just going to be darkness, which we can just see with the map, anyways. We're navigating with instruments only. Just like opens automatically as we walk towards it. So stupid. We find an upgraded healer. Got enough hit points now that she needs to heal us like five times to to get some health back. It's crazy. I kind of wish they made some of this like geometry, like see through or something. They did then some of the. Uh, Some of these Snowblind Engine games, you would have stuff like trees or whatever. If you're in front of, uh, or if they're in front of you, they would they would give you like a see-through look or whatever. You didn't do that in this one, which is kind of annoying. There's a lot of trees and a lot of just foreground objects that just block your view completely. of your dreams to wander by, ladies? Certainly. We've been waiting for you. 
waiting to keep you away from this lever. I was getting ahead of myself when I called you ladies. <laughs> Your tongue is sharp, but if you weren't hiding behind those bars, I bet you'd sing a different tune. You will hear not from us but scorn and laughter, for we are safe behind these bars and are not afraid of anything. But Maeve, what about, you know? I'll hear none of that talk now, you silly lass. There are none of those squeaking devils left around here. Just like a man squeaking not devils. Now go away. Oh, we need to find a squeaky toy for the dog. Brave girl, that wee thing cannot hurt you. Uh -huh. Curse you and your verminous allies. Once again, the bard oh so valiantly overcame his foes. It's a gift. A lot of XP. We'll keep the rat up until he dies, which is going to be like one battle. He hits hard when he does hit. Bye, rat. Good job killing two dudes before you died. Tree for me. <laughs> yep, with my healer. Freaking tramps. Stay where you are. I'll stay right here. Come to me. Die in a moment, <laughs> my pretty. Am I getting anything? Hard to tell. Come to me. In a moment, my pretty. Here, wait five minutes for her to heal everybody. Urgh. Really hope I get an upgraded healer soon. Ah, another victory for me. <laughs> Got 
Gotta have the snow blind engine pools. Gotta show off all those water physics. As your lightning spider and your fire dude walk into the water. Assuming we want to go that way, because there's like a door over there. Sure that there's like this wasn't like a dead end or something like that leads to a treasure chest and then you get all the way to the other side thinking I'm going the wrong way and end up going the right way. That's usually how it ends up happening. Yeah. Good thing I didn't keep going. Just money anyways. Anything in this middle area? Is there a way of getting into the middle area? Is nice. Finally, claimed is something or other. About damn time we got a uh, new two-hander. Claimed him, salute, saluis. I'm sure I totally said that perfectly. Correct. Electric blade, hundred percent. It's only one to five. This one's like, this one's like three to fifteen. It's like one to five damage. But this electric blade means probably stuns. Maybe. Either way, it is an upgrade. Nothing. Guys, attack so fast. the wrong way. What if those count as barrels? I mean, we're already at the point where we'd be getting 500 bucks anyways. I 
put a spell on you. Yep, she lasted long. Well, I can't do that yet. Just in case. <clears throat> All it takes is a bunch of enemies to surround you, next thing you know, everybody just dies. lag there. I not have a lot in this area. I'm not sure if it's just reading from the disc at that point or what. Just like hangs for a second. Really good at getting behind uh, our front lines and murdering my healer. at this point. 240. Yeah. I mean, I've already maxed out my strength, so Vitality's next, I guess. Healer. Wait. Why is my healer trying to hug the enemy? Twenty thousand bucks. Let's hope there's some good upgrades once I hit the uh, the new town. Yeah, at this point, what are they gonna up let me upgrade? Probably my my armor is the only thing that really doesn't drop. Usually, weapons like seems like you're getting weapons as drops most of the time. Maybe bow. So I haven't seen a new bow in a while. And like the offhand. I don't think I've seen a, an offhand weapon at all drop. Oh, no! 
to be the offhand never like you only ever get the dirk when I charge my weapon like waiting for these guys to like come after me and it's like nope I gotta walk over there because treasure treasure Like a bunch of weapons, like maybe one of those is an upgrade. None of them were. to get in here. Don't you dare kill my healer, you bully. Are you tuned? No. I saw scrolls, like maybe there's a new song. I think all the tunes so far are upgrades were like, they look like open... Documents like open paper, not like a scroll. This is probably the boss floor we're going up to now. Is there anything like last time? I think there was uh, three levels plus the boss. Some very small towers. There's only like four levels. Well, I guess in medieval time, four levels would be considered a tower. Especially since there's probably like a bunch of Coiled stairs going up between level one and two. Our brave hero fought his way to the summit of the tower, and before him stood the flame that he must extinguish. Unfortunately, before that stood Lou, who would not give in without a fight. You've made it, I say. No taunts now, eh? Where's all that wit I heard down in the arena? 
I've gained a measure of respect for your fighting prowess. It saddens me that I'm going to have to kill you now. I wish I could say the feeling's mutual, but the cold fact is, I expect I'll quite enjoy it. That's the spirit. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, don't stand next to him when he summons those... Those axes... Like, chews through you, like, real fast. Is not as much of a masochist as the uh, the dude who disarms traps, who just loves running towards the traps and having them impale him. Oh, get to the good part. Knocked me down. I couldn't do anything. I think we could all see that one coming. Good riddance. Couldn't heal. Somebody in need of healing. Our brave here. Boring. Move along. I'm the best. I'm the best. Goes faster than I can, that's not fair. <laughs> you are no that's the problem with doing that charge up abilities I'm stuck in the animation as he like massacres me with all those spinning axes I'll put a spell on you where if the uh you know it's probably not gonna last long enough to be of any use here wonder if the well the rat could at least get a hit in Take a big chunk of it as health, I guess. After that, the red's dead. Definitely dead. Our brave. Skip it. Another victory! Well, red took out half his health, so. Let's see if the light spirit... Oh. Lost in the dark! Nope. Stun does not work on bosses. Confirmed. There's no point in summoning the light spirit against bosses.
Nice of him to wait over there while we uh, try to finish him off pretty quickly, but I think any chance. Oh, he's coming. Champion, you're here. Oh, I've counted the hours till I... Cut the crap, lady. What gives with all the dead refusing to stay dead? Yes, um, I'd feared that would happen. I would appreciate it if we discussed all fears up front from now on. I'm not a big fan of surprises. Very well. I should tell you that the denizens of the underworld are rising up trying to put an end to your quest. Why are they after me? They know it was you who defeated Hearn. Because of this, they know you're trying to set me free. But their leader is a ruthless man who'll stop at nothing to keep you from freeing me. Yet again, something I wish I knew earlier. I am the only one who can stop them. Until I'm set free, darkness will engulf the land. You must hurry. The longer you take, the more power the forces of evil will gain. Soon, I won't even be able to hold them back. I should have just settled for the farmer's daughter. You must get to the island tower quickly. Time is short. First, go to Downby, where you'll find a man named Dugan. He's in a tavern called the Aiken Drum. He'll have further instructions for you. Oh joy, another journey. Why not tell me where I need to go right now? Dugan is locating an object for you, something of great power. You'll need it to enter the third tower. The fate of the world is in your hands, my love. As long as there's no pressure involved. Now, the, the... More pressures were soon to come. Unbeknownst to the Bard, the servants of the mysterious Finnick were making good on their master's command to stop the Bard at any cost. Fight our way down again. Now, the way, the way it works is... Uh, I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff. Is uh, your, your, your partners or your uh, summons, they have to move into position before the cutscene starts. So in this case it was off screen so I couldn't see them move, but most of the time that's what's happening. That's why you have to wait. Usually it's my healer, because my healer is so freaking slow by the time she gets up to uh, up to the the, the, the spot. It takes a couple seconds. So what wonder about the upgraded trap finder. Is he just gonna have more health? Go to night now. Oh yeah, for sure. Reporting for duty. Yeah, they could just like get them to teleport, but no, they have to walk. Somebody in need of healing. For the position. Or the knight does is that just give us armor. I'll try it out. Also got a new artifact. No, the artifact is is this thing. We can get something else. We got three things, I think. Oh yeah, we got an upgraded. Uh, that's right. We got the upgraded trap finder. Sounds like the tower's coming down around us here. Apparently. <laughs> I want that sweet, sweet ultimate alliance. Yeah! 
I really hate how my like my swipe just I do an attack in front of me and then behind me, which is usually never enemies behind me. showed up twice, maybe it'll show up a third time. <laughs> and it'll go up against such awful picks that everybody's gonna jump on it. Or it's like a release of like a Marvel movie around the same time, so everybody's like in Marvel madness. I mean, I guess there's Marvel movies like every time, so... Have people gotten sick of Marvel movies at this point? The Marvel Cinematic Universe? I think they have already jumped the shark now. My healer alone. Come to me, to the bard. We can Avengers Five. Yikes. Somebody in need of healing. It's way too many Avengers. Yeah, I know, right? Like they've already they've already peaked. Anything from here on is is downhill. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. Alright. Uh, hmm, what do I want? The bard will automatically bash with his shield. I don't think I really need more treasure. Stunning his enemy. I don't have any points A put into range. This is pointless. Shot. Which passes through its target. Flail skill. I mean, skill. May, maybe this would be useful. Because if it a if it's a attack which stuns it's a charge shot, they won't like stop my attack. Skill. Unlike the regular attack. Release the attack button to activate. A powerful charging attack. It's the same thing with sword enemy. versus flail. Used with a sword skill. Hold and release the attack button to bash activate. the shield after blocking, the stunning his will enemy. automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. A powerful spinning attack which stuns enemies. Used with the get the dog skill. to fight. Hold and release the attack button to activate. It's a spawn reboot. I have taken my measure of thee. Death to the bard! Laughing in like twenty fifty five. Dude plays his Falcon. A complete douchebag. That's always fun. Be healed. We triumph. To the bard.
your news, yeah. It's just like in, you know. The fiend? Just being discussed, I guess. Is Todd McFarlane even like doing anything anymore? Isn't he like kind of bankrupt now or something? Maybe seeing a YouTube video about that for some reason. You Todd needs money. Plaza's <laughs> oh. toys. I guess that helps, but how many people are still buying spawn toys at this point? <laughs> You need something to sell the toys. Well, toys, I mean... Nobody's nobody's buying them as toys, obviously. Collectible action figures. Yeah, new, mo new movie injection would definitely help with selling. Healing! I didn't really notice the uh, knight health going down. He seems to be pretty tanky. As you know, a knight should be. Doesn't deal a lot of damage, but you know. It's probably more than the protector dude. Death to the bard. Just fighter Mortal Kombat 11. I'll put a Mortal Kombat 11 had like a bajillion different guest fighters. Mortal Kombat 11's like the uh, Smash Brothers of, of the uh, fighting game genre. Death to the bar! I have taken my measure of thee. Oh, shit, that one. Anything good, Andrina? Anything excited? Or is it all just meh? Nothing for the main event. Yeah, here it is pretty meh. I really need an upgraded healer that doesn't instantly die.
Evolver Digital. Yeah. Or the uh, healer's cackle when she. It could be. Or if they have the credits in the manual. Yeah, has my dog been helping at all in battle? I just played the point to, to give him combat. Probably hasn't been doing anything. Manual. Uh, music, game design. Talent, voice talent. Uh, Should have her heels in here, as she is in all things in this era. So many voice talents. I don't think it's. Yeah. I don't think she's in here. No, she definitely. She, she'd be pretty highly uh, billed if she was. If anything, it's probably Jennifer Hale. It's Julianne Buescher. Trying to look at female names. I don't know if Rob, Robin Atkin Downs female or male, but. Unisex name there, Jennifer Hale, Moira, Moira Quirk, the Robin Sachs, Leah Sargent, Lisa Jane Schneider. Oh, so many names. Yeah, the game's pretty fun. Yeah, they, they definitely wouldn't give her like a bit roll. They definitely wouldn't be able to afford a voice talent like that in a uh, game like this. Yeah, like the, the, the gameplay is pretty meh. It's a very basic hack and slash. You know, the comedy is decent. But, I mean, at this point in the game, like, they... It's definitely, like... There's a lot less of it. They front-loaded a lot of it at the beginning, and then... Get to another point in the game, you're just, like... Like... Great example is the songs, right? I mean, you get uh, you get a whole bunch of little tunes at the beginning of the game. I haven't seen anything in, the, in a long time. We're, we were getting, like, little tunes when we were, like, uh... Finding like uh, chosen ones, and he, last chosen one didn't get a tune, he didn't get like a some Moomba Loompas coming, so he didn't stop that. It's one thing. Thou art found wanted. Somebody druids. Wanted the bard. Heal yourself, healer. Ok, 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fully healed. Heal yourself. Thank you. Death to the bard! Are we there yet? Of course, those traps uh, reactivated. Death to the bard! These druids are so tanky. And the healer got murdered by the trap. We'll get the ability of summoning four people or three's the max. The next instrument won't do it, and it's just going to give us more mana, probably. But victory! Where's all my dudes? Are they taking a long way around or something? Fuck. Healing! Death to the bard! Almost there. It says floor one rare right now, I think. It's last floor, right? I hope. That's the exit. No, oh, probably on level two because that was. I wouldn't have just made one save in level one. So. Ugh, why are these floors so big? Although level one, I think, was just the. Well, it was mostly the arena, so. 
Or was there a level above the arena? I don't remember. A lot of druids. Death to the bomb. Oh god. Oh god. What is that? What is going on? What is all this shit? I should have saved. The so, druid that has like a nasty spell there. The pink one was doing so much damage. For king and country. Why is there like a it's like a glitch there above the knight's uh, image? Is like the bottom half of something that's hurt. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Play the remaster of the thing. I I'm assuming no. <laughs> Is it considered an RPG? <laughs> I'm assuming not. Didn't realize the thing was getting a remaster or that people were asking for a remaster. <laughs> no. Is it supposed to be a good game? <laughs> Never heard of it. Ah, another victory for me. <laughs> Never played the original. I have zero interest in the original. See, this is, is this like a defense buff? Let's try it. Some sort of buff, I'm assuming. Oh, it's a sinny thingy. Victory! Slices it dices. Victory! Even with this, it's still Victory! like it's still got murdered there. What the hell? And so the bard met his inevitable. God, this much deserved. Which one is? Casting that freaking pink thing. It's giving a steam and GOG. Reporting for duty. One of the higher level versions of these do more damage. They just last longer. Should have waited till it was close to the uh, the room. Death to the bard! We triumph. It's gonna last a long time. We triumph. God damn it! Drown feed. Thus ends the bard's Let's try a stronger version of that one, see if that does like more than 20 whatever damage. <laughs> I stand ready.
taken my measure of thee. Yeah, assuming does more damage because those all those dudes are dead. Well, it seems like it shoots off those axes up into the sky and lands on stuff. So maybe I don't remember if the first one was doing that. Am I right? He'd, he'd add some flashing to that too, just to be more annoying. Of course, every time it shakes, the, the controller vibrates too, because, you know, that, that's obviously a thing. Still no Oompa Loompas. The future. Future is now. Finally out of that place. <laughs> going down the towers are way is way worse than going up the towers. <laughs> getting close to leveling up again. No, not really. I think we're getting to the point where uh, levels are becoming like very big diminishing returns. Which makes sense since we already have like strength maxed and next level we'll have vitality maxed. Was it a bad game? As long as it's not Tower of Jeruga. Because that one... That one is rough. Where's my healer? I can kill my healer. remember there was a uh, there was a treasure map I was thinking like the shops and stuff and I just remember there was a treasure map in the first shop it was like 4,000 bucks I never went back to buy that I definitely have the money for it need to do that plus at this point I'm gonna see if I can I should see if I can handle that town of dudes who wanted me dead there So much damage when they yell.
Well, it's a roguelike. Roguelike games are definitely one of those, like, uh, very niche Victory. franchises, so. How about the fiend? I'm sure people trying it back in the day would have been, like, comparing it to, you know, other RPGs, which are a completely different style, right? Death to the bard! We'll find out soon enough. I mean, this game doesn't feel like we're near the end by any stretch, but it's also probably not going to be super long. It's an action RPG. Like, probably looking at 30 hours max on this thing. to me. To the Bard. Attack. I'll take care of things. Stay where you are. Hold your ground. Back off. Be wary. That's what I'm looking for. Back off. Love when my healer goes in and starts whacking things with... It's like, healer. Don't attack. Your main job's the heal. We triumph! Have at the fiend... Finally, the map. Stone beam. So, we have any way of getting back to the other place? I don't think so. I guess we're not getting that, uh. Not getting that map. Unless maybe we go through Down B and then we can, like, take this. What? Is this a bridge? It's hard to tell. Assuming that's a bridge. New town, new side quest, new shops. I'll shop uh, new pub, hopefully with a song this time, unlike the last town. It's true, then. Yes, my lord. We've kept the northern passes under watch as you commanded. He will enter the city soon. I don't know what game he plays by coming here, but he will regret it. Allow him to pass through the northern gate unmolested. When he's inside the city, Thankfully. he will strike. Time for a random uh, passenger search. What is this bard of yours trying to accomplish, woman? Why is he coming to my city? He can't hope to free you yet. The island tower still stands. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about, Lord Finnick. He will fail, Calais. And when he does, I will reinforce the strength of your bonds a thousand times over. You will never be free. Chapter 8 was in chapter 9 the uh, the other town that wanted us murdered you've come out of the north i not many do how is it you've come through the mountains unscathed 
I don't see how that's any business of yours. Just passing the time, friend. No need to bristle. There isn't any much work for us these days. Not since those thrice damned druids took over the city. Druids, eh? When did this happen? They come from that old tower in the middle of town about a week ago. Claimed the place for the Lord Finnick. You'd do best to steer clear of them if you know what's good for you. Yeah, I think that's good advice. My thanks. The bard ventured into the lion's den, unable to shake the eerie feeling that he was being watched. I can't get by my dudes. Alright. So they're not supposed to let us through the uh, gate unmolested. I guess we technically got through the gate, but now that we're in the uh, town, they're going to be molesting us. Victory! There he is, brothers. Kill him. You should have saved that dude. <laughs> oh, now then. Ah, uh, yes, I remember where we were. Yes. Just in case it gives us a quest or something, assuming we can save him. I stand ready. There he is, brothers! Kill him! No, doesn't seem like... Seems as soon as you get close Back enough, he just dies. Brave but stupid druid. I can take him on by myself. There he is, brothers. Death Kill to him. Bard. Some door number one. Sheriff's office. <laughs> Is it that bad? Sounds rough. I'm surprised Core beat it though. Must have been good enough if Core decided to to to, to soldier through the entire thing. <laughs> Got a crime to report? Fill out the parchment. In triplicate. If it's a missing person, forget it. People come to Dunmi to get lost, not to be found. In fact, I can't really help you with much of anything. Those druids are the real law around here. I've nothing to report. I'm just passing through town. Hey, good luck on that. A lot of folks trying to pass through and not many succeeding. Say, you want to see something funny? It is funny. Yeah. I'm kind of on the fence with them. Not a, not a huge fan of uh, right about roguelikes. Hey, which one of your sorry lowlifes is the chosen one? Oh, we're going to get another song. I am. I'm the chosen one. No, I'm the chosen one. I must fulfill my destiny. No, he's not. I'm the chosen one. I will save the world. <laughs> That cracks me up every time. They come to town talking crazy, taking on monsters twice their size. Got so bad I had to lock them up for their own safety. Say, you aren't one of these chosen ones, are you? Of course I am. Oh, no, not me. I'm all about wine, women, and song. Pretty much in that order. Wait, make that women, wine, and song. <laughs> yeah. Well, look here, Boyo. You just stay clear of trouble. Nope. Oh. 
There you go. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. A chosen one of many, is it true? When you think you're full of luck, you move forward, you get struck. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. One would think that fame and glory could be bought. When it comes to chosen ones, there are a lot. There seems to be too many. I don't really think there's any. A useless pile of funk is what you've got. Oh, it's, oh, it's bad luck to be you. you. The prophecy is never coming true. In the pickle you'll be stuck. Like a chicken you will cluck. Oh, it's bad luck <laughs> to be you. They should have, though. These silly boys aren't doing very well. The sheriff has to put them in a the cell. Probably because it's expensive to do. It was like this and like Rhapsody. <laughs> it's only two I can think of off the top of my head. Don't think for just a second is not true. When your life is run amok, you will see that you're the schmuck. Oh, it's bad luck to be really, really bad luck to be. Nobody could disagree. It's a freaking guarantee. It's bad luck to be you. Diddly do. Bad luck to be you. Get some experience for hearing the song. Is that a chest? No, it's just a weird light. <laughs> Thank God it's over. Hopefully it'll be one of the pub as well. If it wasn't one of the last pub, which is disappointing. If you have nothing to report, you'll need to go. And if you do, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, this is like the third or fourth variation of that song. So many variations of that chosen, chosen one song. It's weird though, because last time we found a chosen one, usually every time we find a chosen one or a corpse of one, we get a song like that. Last time we we found a chosen one we didn't get a song disappointing there he is brothers oh, kill him I know right like they ripped us off Shop, the Brock, the brooch. Hopefully, he'll pronounce that. Is that a shop? That's oh, just a house. Dunnan. That's where we had to find, right? This is my home. What do you want? Brooch. Depends on you. Got any daughters laying about? I've no daughters nor money for the likes of you. Did we just... <laughs> I told you to go. Don't let the doorknob catch your arse on the way out. That would be painful. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like any Snow Blind Engine games, you always have that... I'm not sure if they're like required by contract to do it, or if it's just every single one of them decide to do it anyways. There's always like those pools of water <laughs> that you gotta show off the water engine. Gotta show off that that water physics engine thing that they have going at Snow Blind. But yeah, definitely very Snow Blind. I told you to go. Don't let the doorknob catch your arse. What if I screwed up? You know, needed to like be nice to him and he would give me a quest or something. Oh well. Oh yeah. 
pretty much every every action RPG in in the uh, PS2 era had that. My last save, ugh, it's pretty well back. Eh, whatever. Brothers, the bard is over here. To hell with the laggard. Laggard. I guess we could just go save and reload real quick, just out of curiosity, if you would have given us like a quest if I was nice. And what did I really do other than, you know, listen to that song which I could just skip? There he is, brothers. Kill him. Death to the bard. I know, right? Saves coming in my RPG. It's more likely than you think. I see you. I just don't want to miss out on like a token or something. Victory! There he oh, is. Oh, worse yet, a tune. Kill him. Victory! Now let's see, where were we? Uh, oh yes. Let's make a beeline to that door. Ignore the fights. <clears throat> Reporting for duty! Death to the Bard! This is my home. What do you want? Nothing at all, my fine fellow. Just passing through. Well then, good luck to you. Doesn't really change anything. Off you go, laddie. Oh, now then. Uh, yes, I remember where we were. Yes. I mean, his stance towards you changes, but it's not like the actual endings any different. It's like before you go here, take this. Yeah, you know, nothing like that. I stand ready. We're gonna say like, what like, well, is game one and two aren't dark, aren't, aren't slow blind engine, but yeah, dark lance. It'd probably be pretty easy for them to port over any other games, but Oops. it's mainly getting the because mo most most of the Snowblind Engine games were like Somebody in need. were based on certain IPs, right? Like X Men Legends, the um, Marvel uh, Ultimate Alliance games, the Champions of Norath stuff. Uh, like they're all they're all licensed. Fall out. The problem is just like who really owns the rights to, the, to that stuff anymore. Be healed. I 
Like I know like uh, was it Daybreak, I believe, is the one that owns the EverQuest like the, the, the EverQuest MMO, but do they own license to like release, you know other EverQuest media? Probably not. Okay, good. Go back here. Go by the map before I forget. Hilton looks pretty depressing in the rain. Okay, I was gonna say, is this place being attacked now? The answer is yes, it has. Thou art found wanted. No, nope. rip this town, I guess. There's no shop or anything, as far as I can tell. Poison damage really racks up fast. These enemies are definitely like, I'm assuming we're going to be going here as part of the story at some point, but right now we're probably not supposed to be going here. Stand ready. How much experience are we getting from killing these things? One twenty nine thousand. Thou art found one. Yet, anyways. Even die yet? Yeah, like a hundred. Negligible. North Dark Lions, yeah, and they're they're fairly expensive to get nowadays too. Which I'm surprised. Considering they're like greatest hits games, like you obviously sold quite a bit of them back then, but these people still want them, so they're kept their value, I guess. Skin solve. What are we even doing in here? Like, is, is there any point being this town? Unless there's like treasure laying around somewhere. I have really been looking for treasure chests, but there's no exits as far as I can see, so. Fiend. 
thing just takes too much damage. You're a dog after me, own heart. Heaven. God, these things take so much damage. To hell with And clearly, we're not supposed to be here. Really curious if there's anything here to find at all. To hell with the laggard. To hell with the laggard! Thou art found wanting! There's definitely no... Like, unless there's treasure chest somewhere, like, there's no point in being here. There's no entrance, no exits. Either the story's gonna send us here, then we're gonna get something here, or there's like a treasure chest hiding somewhere in this town. Gonna make a quick tour around. I think there's any point in actually fighting things. Oh, except these guys are really good at stunning me. God, oh god. Freaking poison, man. And so ends our tale with the tragic death of our hero. Alright, let's not go to that town. I was going I was coming here just to see if I can get the map, but clearly it's either gone now or yeah. It's no no treasure map for us. That treasure map probably for King most likely led to like a country. token, so we probably missed out on that token. Oh well. Need to find a shop. It's very not very likely not a shop. The old city. I see you, Bard. Shop. 
Another broke rock. Roosh. Hello, sir. Do you fancy antiques? I've been collecting them for years. No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Well, then I'll be seeing you around. But I wanted an antique. I hope you're enjoying your visit to Doomby. I thought maybe if I was nice, maybe she'd give me an antique. Which I would probably be a... Uh... Guess we're reloading and trying the snarky one. Now, let's see, where were we? Uh, oh, yes. Gotta get all the tokens, all of them. I'm so curious if I get, like, if I find another strength token, will it increase my strength past 20? For king and or country! 20 is the cap, no matter what, whether you, you include tokens or not. In which case, yeah, it kind of sucks if uh, you max out a stat and then you find a token for it. Or vice versa. Like, if it actually does put it beyond the cap. If you find the uh, token for it before. Although, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure the token does apply to the stat, because... My charisma is 8. I never, I definitely didn't put any points in charisma. And I have... Unless you start off with 8 or something, because I, I definitely didn't put any points myself. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger. That we do have like plus three charisma, which would be a weird amount. Like I'm assuming my charisma started at six. Shopkeepers will offer significant. I don't know. Maybe he's on top of the uh, of whatever your stat is. The bard is over here. Yeah, it's like right now my my damage is plus ten. I'm assuming it's like the strength bonus, so if I ever get like another strength uh token, if it goes above plus ten and I know it definitely stacks on top. Hello, sir. Do you fancy antiques? I've been collecting them for years. You're the only thing I fancy. Ah, I know your type. I'm not that kind of woman. Be off with you. You should give Our us an antique. will get you nowhere. Leave me be. Come on, give us an antique. You know you want to. Persistence will get you nowhere. Leave me be. If I'm really persistent. Persistence will get you nowhere. Leave me be. Persistence will get you nowhere. Leave me be. I'm wearing her down. Persistence will get you nowhere. Leave me be. Fine. Where's the damn shop? Is only like the last thing? It is the last thing. The one we haven't visited yet. I see you, Bard. Where's it going? Back here.
Another Brock. Brooch. Brook. Yeah, I didn't I didn't persist hard enough, I guess. Chateau de Renard. With Jean. Ah, bonjour! Also very nice to see you again. Is you very French. Pay us what you owe us, no? Oui, oui. He must be here for that very thing. Jean, you are so smart. You are, how they say, the smelliest fish in the drawer. I think you mean the sharpest knife, don't you? And since I've never met you, the only thing I owe you is a view of my arse as I leave. Wait, wait, not so fast. Perhaps it is possible we could be mistaken? No, there's no mistake. You two are wasting my time. You have the manners of a peasant. But as I am in such an agreeable mood, I will forgive you your insult and offer instead for you a... Uh, how you say? A deal. Oh, Jean, Jean! Once again you prove we are the cleverest of brothers. Are we the cleverest of brothers? Are we not, how you say, sly as boogers? Oui. We want to give you a pleasant little tune that will summon the sexiest of beasts to aid in combat. Like sexy beasts. You would do for us but one small favor. We would give it to you. Tout de suite. One small favor. I'll grant you one small favor. Just one. What is it? Très magnifique! All you must do for us is to find Dunin, who lives very close, and collect from him the 50 silver pieces he owes us. I'll just give you the 50 oui, silver. Oui. Get us the money, and we will give you the song. Find Donan, get the 50 silvers. Done. You have more than enough money. Just you collect our silvers, and the song is good for you. We oui? fine. I'll be back. Another victory for me. Why am I breaking the barrels, anyways? <laughs> Barrel dude is dead. Town is is done. Unless he like moved somewhere else. Take a long way. Brothers, the bard is over here. You there, what do you want? You're him. You're the bard! The bard's at the gate! Call out the brothers! Victory! Death to the bard! Thou art found wanting! To the bard. She'd die as soon as she came in. Victory. Easy come, easy go. Let's see, these guys just keep spawning forever, anyways. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Thank you. 
painful. This is my home. What do you want? The Fox Brothers sent me. I think you know why. You've got the 500 they owe me? Now wait just a bloody minute here. You don't owe them. I'm afraid it's true. Wait a moment. They didn't promise you something, did they? A cut, maybe, or something else worth your while? Look here, if I were you, I'd head back and take it up with them, all right? Let's take back his head. I love fetch quests. <laughs> I see you, Bard. Need to remember to go to this old city thing. Look here, you melodious miscreants. Donan don't owe you a thing. Then he is a liar. I tell you what. You want a song? We have a silver frog that was taken from us by Katir and hidden under her bed. Bring that to us and we will give you your song. Oui, oui, the frog. Get us the frog. A grenouille. Get it yourself. I'm not going on another wild goose chase for the two of you. Who said anything about that goose, you silly man? We are talking about a frog. Quite right. A frog, small and shiny. And so lovable and cute, you know. Oh, Jean, I want it. You promised me you would get it for me. And I want it. I won't fall for your tricks again, boys. Well... Are you going to get it or aren't you? All right, but this is it. No more funny business. Oui, of course, no more business that yeah. is funny. We will await your return. More like a run around quests. You're, you're, fe you're fetching a quest flag, basically. Maybe this other person is like close by on the opposite side of town. I see you, Bard. You? Back again? I'll call the sheriff if you continue to harass me. I'm just here to get back the silver frog. I should have known. They tried to buy it from me and I wouldn't sell it. Not for 50 silver pieces, not for a thousand. So now they send you for it. Bloody hell, that's twice they fooled me. Give them a swift kick in the gonads for me when you see them. Yes, ma'am.
I see you, Bard. Sucker! If they get me to go somewhere else, I'll be pissed. <laughs> you mean they'll tell me to go to the old city? Look here, you bleeding idiots. And over the tune, or I'll puree the both of you. Ha! We will be giving you nothing. We? Oui. Ha! Now go away and stop the wasting of our time. Fine, I'll waste you instead. On guard! Time to die. Okay, okay, we surrender already. We cannot take this fight any longer. Great, they're French, they're they surrendering. Go away! Oh, Jean, I think I am going to faint. Frère Jacques! Frère Jacques! Knocker. Kind of enemies knocker. Some sort of elemental dude. Let's try it instead of the spooter. A little smaller than I expected. That would be like, you know, normal size. It's tiny. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> All right then. Not expected, but I'll take it. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. See what's over here. There's no door over here, so what's the knocker doing battle? We there Try he is, him. brothers. Kill him. Okay, so he throws down one of those things and then just Death starts hitting things in all around him. Chain lightning damage. Doesn't seem to stun him like the uh, spider was doing, though. I'm sure with that constant, like, chain of damage, it probably uh, keeps them from guarding easily. Oh, I guess there was a passage here. Was just blocked by the quest marker. Get the bard! Oh, yeah, I forgot to go back to that other town. Assuming I can handle them now. And you have a lot of health, so... Probably be fine. Alright, is there a shop in this side of town? Hopefully. Come on, shop. Kirk. First it was Brock Brokes. Now it's Kirk's. <laughs> Yeah, Kirk is the church. A bajillion dollars. Let's uh, unlock a bunch of things. Take 
your time there, guys. Take your time. Welcome to Doonby. These are dark times. Not many visitors these days. Still, we provide healing and blessing for those who care to donate. I could use a bit of goodwill. Welcome to Doon. I could use a bit of goodwill. Everybody's not unlocking anything. Give me my unlockables. So I have no idea what the actual, uh, the blessing does. Maybe it makes us so can't get poisoned or something for a certain amount of time. There he is, brothers. Kill him. We triumph. Knocker got murdered. Every new bar song, I hope. Come on, you bar tune. The top. Step right up and show them what you've got. Talent show. How about entering our little contest and showing off your talents? The prize is well worth the effort. I could use a bit of silver. I'll enter your show. I'm coming to you from the far reaches of Hooten, the Bard! And this isn't how you play a flute. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Hooray! Hooray! Yes! We have a winner! Hooray! We are the bestest. All thanks to my healer over there. Boots of quickening? Does that speed me up? He's able to, uh, you know, he's able to change the tune with just his tongue. That's why the, the ladies like him so much. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's Busted strength dexterity. and ferocity into the wearer. Spent dexterity was six. smelled very much like a dead badger. These boots, once worn by the great Highland warrior Duncan MacLeod, were one pair in a set made for the mighty hero. The rest have been lost to time, and there is no doubt that there can be only one pair surviving to this day. Okay, so it does actually raise your, your stat on this screen. I'm at eight dexterity. So, so yeah, I'm really curious now. The bard is, the more like if if, can if I had raised my strength to twenty before picking up those those tokens, would it stay to twenty? Guess we'll have to find out. If we get any, another thing with vitality or strength, which looking at the token list, Heavy it seems like these are in order, right? So like this is strength plus one. Some of the animal's strength and ferocity. You know, and then we have like the luck, 
Dexterity, charisma. Very much like a dead like one, two. There's probably like a three a charisma. And leadership. A rhythm one, Where probably like two, three, that kind of thing. Easy to garner the respect of others. So there's got to be this has got to be strength ones. Men of great stature. You should just stay in here and get drunk with us, my friend. The whole town's going to hell in a basket, so what the hell are we... You should just stay in here and Stop get drunk talking for like a foot us, away. Friend. The whole town's going to hell in a basket, so what the hell are we going to need a liver for? I knew we should have done our rituals this year. Our crops are ruined. Ruined? No singers. Start getting like something like go right about here and then it just stops. Oop. Move aside. Friend. I've got money to spend. Move aside, friend. I've got money to spend. Who the hell's trying to say that and it's not coming up? Weird. The Nuklevi's been seen near Dunby. Rumor is some fool let it loose. Nuklevi. Sorry, but we've a limit on the number of times you can win. Try again next year. Can't see somebody else uh, do a. Uh... Yeah, there's definitely a distinct lack of pub songs in this. I only have the one at the beginning, and that's it. Oh, there's there's booze that can raise strength. I can see if that alert, if that actually raises my uh, my current strength. So what will it be? How about one of these? A wonderful vintage with a fine bouquet. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm only selling this stuff because the woman what brews it is a uh, uh, quite charming. <laughs> Sounds horrible. How about one of these? Ah, this is one hell of a stout. A strong, rich, multi flavor with a hint of hops. Goes down nice and creamy and leaves you a bit of foam in the mug to remember it by. Think I'll pass on that one. What about Oops. this one? Ah, think I'll pass on that one. What about this one? This stuff gives Swill a bad name. Trust me, you'd be best to steer clear of it unless you fancy feeling like you got hit over the head with a caber. Think I'll pass on that one. How about one of these? The pig's mead, right? Better steer clear of that. It's mostly pond scum and fermented swine's vomit. Not so much for drinking as knocking a man cold before you sell him to the slavers. Sounds horrible. How about one of these? Ah, this is what. Give me one of those. All right, see if my strength goes up. <clears throat> ah, I needed that. We'll see you next time. Does say plus two? So let's see if it actually affects my. I like plus ten. No, it's still plus ten. So I don't think it actually does increase past the uh, the cap. Because I imagine with another plus two, it would have had like maybe eleven damage. Plus eleven or something. But nope. Or at least at least plus eleven. So yeah, there's no point in putting past the cap. Imagine health is the same thing. If you get like any sort of vitality, you're not getting any more health. What is my health right now? 330. I'm assuming part of that is due to the vitality and part of that is due to the level. 
So you probably get like a hundred, you probably get like 10 HP per level plus. Hundred forty, ninety. Yeah, I don't know how vitality would, or hundred eighty. I don't know how vitality would work into it, but unless it's based on the vitality times the level or something, but that doesn't quite match either. I know, right? Especially when you can hit the cap fairly easily, then you start getting a whole bunch of stuff that uh, that like raise your raise that stat and you can't you basically just wasted your points because well well you can't go over the he cap anyways the bard in that contest get him brothers death to the bard we triumph drow sprayed victory i see you bard Victory! Someone found the, uh, someone found the shop. It's that damn shop. I don't know if I like that knocker dude. He used to die pretty easily. The spooter is probably a better idea. Maybe he wants to get an upgraded version of the knocker. my friend. Rumor has it that even the dead are rising from their graves. Man, shop. Another old city entrance. There he is, brothers. Kill, Kill him. him. We triumph. Victory. Another uh, pub, Egan Drum. Unless that's like an inn. Clearly where we need to go, which means we're not going there yet. Thought I'd be able to loop around. No. There he is, brothers! Kill him! I have taken my measure of thee! Victory!
No chest or anything? Oh. There was a path here. But the long way for nothing. I know, right? Lots of environmental ambient stuff. So you want some music? Alright, summon the dude. It's the only time you get music. You only get like five seconds of it, if that. We triumph! This is a shop. Come on, shop. Hey, a store, finally. What freaking time. Of course, there'll be no upgrades. It's going to be armor upgrade for sure. It's been a long time since I've seen some armor. Dude. Hey, dude. You boy, Great. Now I can show my old man I can run things. I mean, it's not my fault it takes me a while to figure things out. He's the one who dropped me on me head. What have you got in the way of shields and armor? Armor, yeah. It's very, uh, protected. It's not much of an upgrade. Yeah. It's like... Like one extra damage. Like, you get like half a damage uh, average increase in defense. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Scale mail. <laughs> Reminds me of a fish, you know. My old man said any time I wanted, I could put it on and go swimming. <laughs> I put on those uh, cement shoes while you're at it. Hey, I know. I'll put the other suit on and we can go jump in the lake. What have you got to stab and bash with? We got all sorts of swords and um, stuff. Wow, interesting. That's Dirk. It's made out of silver, uh, which is kind of like gold. It's more silvery, you know? Nah, not worth my time. Great salesman. Granite flail. It's a good increase in damage, better chance of stunning blue. But it still sucks as a weapon. Have a closer look. A flail. <laughs> I like flails. That one's made out of uh, some kind of special. Um, what was I talking about? Nah, not worth my time. Oh, two to ten damage. Lock, lockaber axe. Yeah, definitely going to be picking that up. What can you tell me about this? Look a boy axe. I think that's what it is. It's named after the baker down the street. I think his name is Lockerby. I'll take it. Good choice, mister. If you go sailing, you could even use it uh, for an anchor. I'd like to see your bows. Bows, huh? Well, wow. interesting. I think that's an Elderwood bow. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> Was that right? What else you got? Well, wow. interesting. Wait, it'll come to me. A short bow. Ah, uh, no. A long bow. A dark barb long bow. Ah, no, wait. Black thing bow. A bow, yeah. <laughs> A bow, that's it. Good job. Might as well buy it. You know, I rarely use the bow. Yeah, I'll take that off your hands. Hey! Careful where you point that thing. What have you got to stab and bash with? Should I buy the we granite got thing? Sorts of swords and. Um, stuff. Might as well. Well, interesting. 
Like, what else yeah. am I gonna spend my money on? I like flails. That one's made out of. Uh... I'll buy it. Oh, you bought the flail. Now, what am I gonna play with? See you, old man. Old man. For that. Fancy axe now. Which looks just like the non axe. He eluded our traps. He's stronger than anticipated, Master. You men go to the tower. Once he's inside, seal the doors. Even should he defeat Mananen, that tower will become his tomb. Yes, my lord. Okay, I have a special task for you. This bard seems more than a match for the men. He is indeed, Master. However, if we're given another chance, I'm sure. We're running out of chances. You must face him. Intercept him before he reaches the tower. Take my pet with you to ensure that he does not survive. He doesn't stand a chance. Is it a toy poodle? It's totally going to be a toy poodle. Those things are vicious. About the fiend, we triumph. Really need an upgrade for my healer. Faskarad. You just can't keep up with any of the damage output of the enemies. I'll put a spell on you. Another level.
You're a fast one. <laughs> well, now that you've caught me, welcome to the shop. The location of the Karn of Ardog will probably be the burial place of many fine treasures. <clears throat> Burbulg Miles at Karamor. Better parchment claims to show the location of the ruins of Main Maka, the mythical capital of Ulster. We only afford one, so. Start with this one, I guess. What can you catch him again later? This is a very rare and special item. I'll be willing to part with it, but only because of the special bond we share. This is how we get some of the. Uh, I'll take it. Some of those tokens we don't have. Very well. Be healed. Priest. Save me, priest. That wasn't the priest. Death to the bard! We triumph! Drow sprayed! Death to the bard! We triumph! Death to the bard! No. Couldn't. And so ah. the bard met his inevitable and much deserved fate. <laughs> so much for that map. <laughs> easy come, easy go. I'll put a spell on you. Save that for upgrading my stuff, right? Yeah. Brothers, the bard is over here. We triumph. We triumph. Death to the bard. Victory. I have taken my measure of thee. Be healed. Time to get paid. There he is, brothers. Kill him! Death to the bard! Let's go to that old town, see what that's about.
old city. Maybe some more shops down here, like a black market or something. Yeah, seems very dungeon-like. Probably full of traps. I wonder if I should go in here, or if I should go to the other uh, place first, in case they send us here. Nah, let's just explore. Shimmering particles of light danced in the air. Shining there in the darkness, they dampened and suppressed the bard's magic. Well, that sucks. Knowing that he must now venture forth alone, without the help of his songs, our hero readied himself for it. Gonna suck. There's also dampen the ability of using the. Uh, well, seems to be usable. I could probably cast one of these, but they'll probably instantly like vaporize. <laughs> well, it seems like it doesn't really stop you from casting songs. It seems like it just. It just. Uh, Kills them really quickly. They show up. So I imagine I can still use the uh, crystal ones to heal up if I need to. Upgraded crown. Nice. Finally, we got an upgraded healer. And we're in an area we can't even use her. Alright, hopefully she heals for a good chunk more than she's been healing, because... seem very tanky. Like they're not taking a lot of damage. Maybe they're weak against fire. Maybe I'll try my bow. I think it sucks with the bow is that, you know, if you use the bow, you can't really switch back to another weapon very quickly. Right. Very weak to fire. Use my non existent dexterity. No idea if I'm hitting anything. I was. Out of the pink stuff. I'll put a spell on you.
The mana cost is getting really expensive for all these things. I need to take a bunch of damage just to see if she actually, like, heals for more. I'm assuming she does. I mean, why else would you get an upgraded version of a crone? Oh, speaking of instruments. <laughs> I'm gonna summon another dude, but it looks like we're heading right back into the stuff, so... No point in wasting that. I don't know why they, uh, they take away the, the, the pink stuff just in this area. It's odd. <laughs> Bye. Doggo, get back up. Good boy. the regeneration rate without healing 208 yeah not very fast <laughs> yeah, the game's okay it definitely front loads a lot of its comedy though and then after that just a bunch of you know repetitive dungeon crawling Not necessarily repetitive, just very like basic. <laughs> well, she healed me in one go there, so it definitely heals more than before. Metal mouth. To spare your life, I tell you now, a warning you must heed. From deep inside, you must allow all the courage you shall need. For whatever foes lie ahead in wait, or what hideous creatures lurk. Your sword alone will tell your fate, for an anti-magic area lies ahead. Ah, ah, that last part didn't even rhyme. Did it? No, didn't, did it? What do you want? I'm making this up as I go. You think this is easy? Why don't you try hanging around on a bloody war for centuries? All right, don't go shooting off at the mouth. I guess this is the intended entrance to this place. I just went the other way.
Well, he's very British. Was the developer of this British? Because obviously, obviously, like a lot of the characters and you know the the region in the game is all very, uh, very much like England kind of stuff. So wouldn't be surprised. If there's very British humor. Yo, the fact that my crone is still alive. <laughs> oh, so crone. Oh, yeah. She has way more hit points. She actually took a hit there. Two hits. Much tougher than before. Not saying much when she like promptly dies because she she's just like hitting this dude instead of like you know healing me. Heals, please. Oh yeah. yeah, her heals are definitely way stronger than before. Root. That's new. They're gonna be, uh. No. No. We got all the. the attacker ones now. Fruit sounds like it's gonna be like a lot of attack. Not, not as much defense. Probably big hits, but slow as shit. We're done in this area. I don't know why I keep trying to attack these barrels. The, the barrel dude is gone. <laughs> The entire town is destroyed. He's not giving us any money. But just can't resist. You see a barrel in a game, you need to destroy that's it's just Oh, you notice there's one of the entrance here too. I sing a happy tune when Valor leads the way. There is no cause for fear, for strong virtues never fray. But woefully I croon, I cannot sing of mirth. It's lust and greed that's in your heart, and will bury you in the earth. To begin. I sing a happy tune when Valor leads. Get to the good part. Somebody in need of healing. God rocks. I think this area is small. It wasn't a convoluted like twenty floor dungeon.
And regeneration is slow, though. Come on. Reporting for duty. There he is, brothers. Kill him. The rock seems to be like an AOE thing when they hit. It's pretty good. To hell with the blackguard. Yeah, early on, it can be some difficult areas for sure. But yeah, once once you start getting like, you know, your stats up and everything, like right now, we got like max vitality, you got max strength. Which you can cap those pretty quickly. You can get some good summons. I mean, there's still some some tricky spots, but just approach it in a slightly different way, and usually get through it pretty easily. Crossing through the occupied city, the bard eventually found his way to the local pub, which somehow he always seemed to do. The Aiken Drum was the popular hangout of drunks, the unemployed, and reprobates who made Some their singers. living on the streets. The bard, of course, felt right at home. Sing us a tune! Jam with the drunks. Let's jam with some drunks. I'll tattle a tale that is terribly true. Started out as a rumor, but suddenly grew. And it deals with a man and a horse and a ring. So settle on in and our song we shall sing. What's going It happened one day in a ring by a farm Something that tragically brought so much harm How could a place so bonnet with charm Create such a beast with a spear for an arm? And death and destruction is what you'll get When it's coming for you and you kill You will wet and it's big and it's strong It's quite plain to see that this is the tale of the knuckle of the Knuckle of Eve Knuckle of the ear, knuckle of the are big and evil and heinous. Who could it be a set you free? It really must be an anus. Oh, knuckle of the ear, it's easy to see in the terror you leave. It's raining on me. The village is burned and the taverns are missed. And the beer's all gone and the elders are pissed. And if they ever should find the fool, hang him upside down by his tool and spin him around until he gets sick. <clears throat> ah, I should do the trick. <laughs> knuckle of me, oh knuckle of me, the terror you offer is high class. I can't sing this. Set you free, a real and must be a dumbass. Knuckle of me, oh knuckle of me, the horror you furnish is widespread. It's too fast paced. Be a set you free, a real and must be an ox head. Like we got a solo, the ball just went went sky high, went into orbit. <laughs> Hierarchy stream. Everybody sing along the Nucklevy song. Now everyone knows no blood should spill in the sacred ring by the farm on the hill. And if this ever happens, then death you should fear. He'll kick in your nuts and he'll serve them with beer. So one final thought before I depart and this, my friend, come straight from the heart. We'd all be fine if not for that bell and that horse-killing wanker who opened up hell. Knuckle of the or knuckle of the, we cannot win, we must admit. Who could it be a set you free? It really must be a dim wit. 
Knuckle of the ear, knuckle of the ear, big and evil and heinous. Who could it be a set you free? It really must be an anus. It's totally an anus. Knuckle of you, knuckle of you. It's about the only part of that song that could be like. <laughs> Easily like sung, unlike the other songs where you could sing sing with them pretty easily. There's like a chorus that was like easy to sing. This one didn't really have an easy chorus. Got a beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. Yummy. Did you hear? The druids are looking for some kind of criminal. They've been tearing the town apart. Ah, I must have met a dozen chosen ones on my way here. And every one of them a dangerous fool. Steer clear of them if you can, my friend. Armies don't say anything. Game of the drunks again. Not clevy, yo, not clevy. Logan. Welcome, friend. I'd heard you'd come to Doonby. Many in the city have. It's been many a winter since a man's come out of the north on his own two feet, and not in a pine box. I noticed I seem to be quite popular with the locals. Aye. The princess knew you'd have to pass through here on your way to your next stop, so she had me waiting in this godforsaken city to lend you a helping hand. You've been a great help so far, let me tell you. Nobody likes a smart-ass son. I couldn't have helped you get past them patrols. Those druids have been tearing the city apart looking for you. They'd like nothing better than to stop you from freeing Our Lady. They'd have done for me easily. Of course, of course. Well then, what kind of help can you actually lend me? I can help you out with a bit of information. There's a man lives west of here. Goes by the name of McRath. He's the caretaker of the Shadow Axe. And you'll need it to get into the next tower. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I rescue his cat, or steal him a gem, or find his long-lost betrothed, I'll get the drill. Everyone wants a piece of the bard. <sighs> Except the ladies. We haven't seen any it's ladies in a while. Ye are. But maybe that's what kept you alive this long. McGrath is one of us, lad. He's keeping the axe for you. All you have to do is go get it from him. Don't suppose you could have had it waiting here for me? And risk it falling into the hands of these druids? That would truly be daft of us. It's a big enough risk I take meeting you here. Use your head for thinking and not just yapping. That actually makes sense, but I can do without the lip. Remember, I'm your savior. Get your arse out of here and head to Greenlands to find McGrath. Yes, sir. Greenland. We're going to Greenland? Before that, I want to go back to the east side. I want to revisit the other towns, see if they're all destroyed or what. Or if that town that, uh, you know, was trying to kill us before. I wonder if we can actually, like, do anything there. There he is, brothers. Kill him! A rock also stuns enemies. So it's a nice AoE and it can stun. We try him! win-win. Plus he stays away, which means he's got a better chance of surviving attacks. <laughs> well, the Jew is just waltzing back. He's like, oh, wait a second. It's the bard. Oh, 
brothers, the bard is over here. There he is, brothers. Kill him! Victory! Moving faster going through the old city. Although, nah. I would have to resummon everybody, which would take a while to get enough mana. There he is, brothers! Kill him! To hell with thee, blackguard! One day... It was that corner there. Why is this town so big? I see you, Bard. Kirk wall is Kirk wall is gonna be invested, but I know there's a save point there. And I can try going to the get the name of the town already, but the other town that tried to murder us. Should be able to possibly survive at this point. Seen any like new side quests in a long time now? It's another thing they kind of stopped doing. Yeah, the barrel thing is just gone now. So you know that there is no barrel dude anymore. Chapter 9, Finch Town. The bard entered Finch Town, where a modest reception and gentle folk awaited. Next. How do you like that, bard? For Finch Town! How do you like that, Bard? God damn it. How do you like that, Bard? 
fuck. Stand your ground. Me? Stay here. Vengeance! For Finstown! Vengeance! How do you like that, Bard? Vengeance! That bar, vengeance. How do you like that bar? Right, get rid of the main guys. I'll put a spell on you. For king and country. How do you like that part? So much damage. Half his health in one arrow. At least I know the knight has like 150 health. <laughs> I think he has pretty good defenses because he usually doesn't take that much damage, but fire arrows just absolutely like destroy. Like they, they bypass your defenses completely. Town too. These guys still up here. Oh, they're gone now. Once you go far enough, they like despawn. Hopefully, they give us a good prize for going through this place. Nothing I can think of would be like uh, either some tunes or. Most likely some tokens. Hopefully not strength and vitality tokens. Well, if I do get vitality token, I have to, like, check my health before and after. Strength doesn't seem to increase, but maybe health does. So we're 330 health right now. I don't think we're going to be leveling up anytime soon, so... I don't think I've picked up any vitality tokens at all before yet. Standing there taking it. For Finstown. I notice there's been any chest. I haven't really been looking. Can't get the treasure. For Finstown. Stop missing.
Much easier the bow. The biggest problem with these guys is like trying to get close enough in them to, to do damage. They just knock you back constantly, so you need to use you need to fight fire with fire and use your bow against them. Attacker. Where am I? How do you like that, Bard? George, I'll take care of things. In. I think it's a lot. I don't know if it's my disc or just the game in general. No treasure at all. At this point, these townspeople would surrender. There's probably not too many townspeople left. For town. This town is going to be a uh, ghost town real soon. It's not over right, or old saves just in case. I imagine at this point I'm fine. If it isn't the bard, I'm sure our leader Silkbeard will want to talk to you. He's in that large building across town, the one with most of its windows still intact. Yeah, it seems safe. <laughs> Why am I going for the barrels? Are they going to attack us in town? I mean, considering the guards let us in, we have to fight them. Seems okay. Oh, another pub. We got a new song. Come on, new song. Just 
Surprisingly, the bard found himself in the local tavern. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. Trowy's pub was once a quaint local hangout, but it, much like the rest of the town, had been overrun by Vikings. I guess the dudes outside we were fighting weren't Vikings. The Vikings are on our side, which is probably why the uh, townspeople were pissed off. Ah, it's the Bard. A drink to your health, Bard. I don't know what you've done, but the villagers don't seem to like you much. <clears throat> Come to think of it, neither do I. It's a right pair of brass bullocks you've got, showing your face around here. Hold on, hold on. Why the hostility? I've never even been to this town before. At least, not that I can remember. In any case, I've certainly done nothing to harm you. As if you didn't know. I don't. Right. And next you'll be telling me it wasn't you that set the Orkney dragon free. Dragon? What dragon? Do you take me for a fool? You think we don't know that you set the beast free to raise our city and let the Vikings come storming in afterwards? Oh, is this that town? I do remember cracking open a big lock gate, but no one mentioned anything about a dragon. That's right, play dumb. You'll get what's coming to you. Well, if that means riches and women, I'm all for it. But, uh, doesn't look like this town has either to offer now. Nobody to blame but yourself for that one. At least many of the villagers escaped and have been laying siege to the town. Perhaps they'll make it in and rescue us eventually. I'm sure they will. I think I better be going now. Yeah, about that. I don't think there's many villagers left. Then I come back. I don't know what you've done, but the villagers don't seem to like you much. <clears throat> come to think of it, neither do I. It's a G's. Or is that Z's? Really weird Z's. Z's. secrets. You're a dog after me, oh. Arnold. First time he's ever dug on something that wasn't like a bunch of bones. It's worth 30 bucks this time. Good dog. Mind you, I haven't really been letting him dig up anything, or he hasn't really been digging up anything recently, but. You're a dog after me, Arnold. Bunch of weapons. Upon the edge of town was a makeshift prison camp with crude ramshackle walls that held captive the once proud people of Finstown. These prisoners had little chance against the well-armed Vikings, but the bard could pick up a bit of goodwill if he helped them with their dilemma. At this point, the bard needed as much goodwill as he could muster. It doth take a true man to fight and protect himself, bard. But that man doth improve tenfold when he puts himself to the hazard for others. What do my partners talk? Thyself. 
Thou defend the innocent, thou defend thy manhood. If I were thee... Yeah, well, since you're not me, we'll end this little talk now. It's very rare you had, like, a conversation with your buddies. Because if you have the right partner up in certain cutscenes, I guess uh, you'll get some sort of interaction. I think the only other time I remember that was when we had the... Uh, when we had the the electric spider in the beginning of the game, we talked to the NPCs in the pub. Our hero came across a building guarded by two burly Vikings. Even the bard concluded that there must be something of value in the building, especially now that I just said it out loud. Look, Carl, it's the bard. <laughs> I thought he'd be taller. Best be on your way, bard. You're not allowed in here. Don't make us hurt you. Stay back. Don't make us kill you. Over here, men. We have a challenge. Oh God. Is my healer still alive? The upgraded healers definitely are a lot better than the old ones. Healing! Pissed off the entire town now. Hello? Carl? Are you guys all right? Um, they can't talk right now. They're busy bleeding to death. Come on in, Bard. We've got more for you. How many goodies do we get? Ah, another victory for me. Suck nuts, man. Just spent money on this armor. It was like three to six, I think, was the old armor. Four to seven, yeah. Four thousand bucks well spent on that other armor that lasted for like a few minutes. Hmm. Picked up some scale mill right afterwards. So that we picked up a mace as well. It's obviously weaker than what we have right now. That was a granite flail. Two of those. Another one I spent money on. Way more than 350 bucks. And an axe. I don't think we have a Viking axe though. Bruni's cloak. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity to the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. The cloak once worn by the self-styled king of the trow, Bruni. No doubt old Bruni is keeping an eye out for whoever stole it from him. Hopefully, he'll catch up to the bard in a later chapter. Hopefully. Is that it? Get all the loot. So many goodies.
Have at thee, fiend! God, these things are tanky. Taken my measure of thee. <laughs> Those things can't even hit my Thou dog. It's too waiting. short. Things just don't want to die. Rocks are my friends. Thinks rocks are in your head too. So it throws me off every time I see him because he's like the same size as the Vikings. I was like, oh crap. This is the one we still have to kill. Ready. Maybe the bow's gonna be better. It's gonna be pretty resistant to the fire. Rhythm. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, as well. enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk mm. in one hand and a sword in the other. A powerful ranged shot, which passes through its target, used with the ranged skill. Hold and release the attack button to activate. Whirlwind.
This will be useful for knocking things on their ass. Unlike the uh, the two-hander one, it seems like it's primarily attacking in front of you, not like behind you. <laughs> like half the attack. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Stand back and hail your new hero. You should feel fortunate we don't hail you with stones, since it was your actions that put us here. Nevertheless, we need your help. Reinforcements are on the way in numbers greater than you can handle alone. However, with your magic and our help, they can be defeated. I'll open the gates. But if one stone hits my head, you're going back in. Maybe there's some good in you after all. Free us, and we'll fight at your side. We already, like, cleared out the place. We had a bard of our own till the Vikings used him for target practice. He left this instrument behind here. I suppose you could use it. Finn's loot. Can I have an extra dude? Uh huh. More mana, I guess. I don't know how much mana my old one had, but. Or did I keep the same loot I had? Maybe the silver harp is the one we just sold? I don't know. But I don't think we had a harp. Maybe we did. You're him, aren't you? The worthless chiseler my mom told me about. Wait, don't tell me. You must be the plug-ugly brat I've heard so much about. Oh! <laughs> right in the gonads. <laughs> Let's forget about their hearts and minds, and mind your gonads. Some folks have the wonderful gift of seeing a man for what he really is. I heard that some of the others escaped the initial attack. And I've gathered a small force outside town. Yeah, about that. You've got a lot of nerve coming in here acting the hair after what you're doing. Can you believe some idiot let the Orkney dragon loose? Gotta get all the loot. So much loot. Let's go see what's in here. I can't hit barrels with this thing. Again, I don't need barrels anymore, but I got to break them. It's the law. Rogue. Rogue gonna do. Like backstab. 
help the stealer. Do we have any uh, tunes left? I feel like we got most of not all the tunes at this point. Still two more tunes left to get. Typical of his sort. Crew. Of course, upgraded versions too, but and very handy to have around in a fight. Once again, certain parallels could be drawn to the bard. Once a daring finder of lost treasures, the explorer was still adept at finding secrets and uncovering traps. Getting out of the way of them, however, was a different matter. Never before had there existed a creature like the Gouger, feeding off the very life energy of its foes, healing its allies all the while. The Light Fairy, a curious creature attracted by music, always happy to light the way when darkness closes in. A cruel and vicious creature. Though still fragile, this rat was easily the most foul-tempered rodent anyone had ever laid eyes on. In this respect, he just barely edged out the bard. A dangerous temptress and a, a hell of an outfit for that the rogue brood. would draw her enemies in, then be gone in a flash, leaving only pain and death in her wake. The bard, of course, left a trail of pain and death in his wake without even trying. The bodyguard was sworn to defend his charges from any and all manner of ranged attack. Perhaps someone should have gotten him a larger shield. A study in contrasts. Although a seemingly vile old witch, she was an expert in providing aid to those wounded in battle. The fire elemental, a seething inferno of liquid fire, very effective at burning things up and not much else. This, of course, made it effective at one more thing than the bard. The fire elemental, a seething inferno of liquid fire, very effective at burning things up and not much else. This, of course, made it effective at one more thing than the bard. Although fragile, the thunder spider could destroy most foes with a steady stream of lightning long before they were able to retaliate. Knockers are well known for their ingenuity in crafting fabulous devices, Knockers. and this one was no exception. His lightning rods could change the tide of battle in an instant. A large rock and a strong arm. The brute was extremely good at smashing anything that got in his way. Almost makes you wish the bard had an entire squad of these fellows. The heroine was deadly active. We haven't got an upgrade of her yet. Nimble in battle. Maybe we missed it at some point. Of most any man in combat, worth about ten men of the bard's type. Because we we picked up a bunch of upgrades for like other characters that we got after her. A valiant knight, honest, brave, noble, nearly invincible in battle. To love so to the bard. Of course, also not very bright. But as we see with our own hero, nobody's perfect. The mercenary, typical of his sort, crude, rude, and very handy to have around in a fight. Once again, certain parallels could be drawn to the bard. I'm assuming since I didn't go here before uh, pissing off all the dudes in town, this guy, you know, we, we missed our chance to potentially have a conversation with this guy. I didn't see him in town, unless he was there and I just didn't notice. Maybe we had like a semi-boss fight in here had I uh, talked to him first. Oh well. He does. Go away! For 
Finstown. I'll send you to the next world. It's much quicker when you have a bunch of uh, archers in your team. Still a quest marker in the uh, the house itself. I wonder if we like, How do you like that, because I, I I rescued the dudes or pissed off the <laughs> the Vikings before I uh, talked to the guy. I just soft locked myself out of that quest potentially. All right, let's see what the quest log says actually. For Finstown. How do you like that, Bard? Yeah, finally talked to Silkbeard. Well, he's not here. Can't talk to him. Maybe if I try to leave town now, he's going to be hanging out near the exit. So, you're the bard. Yeah. I don't understand you, friend. First you free the dragon so we can raise this town, and now you come in here causing trouble? I don't know anything about a dragon, and I don't know you. But if you want to start some trouble, I'll be more than happy to finish it. Any man who doth take advantage of the weak and the innocent deserves a swift death. I'll make sure your death is slow. Be certain about that. Have at thee, villain! The blackguard. That's a good thing those uh, archers are with us. <laughs> Doing way more damage than I ever would be able to. One of those arrows is like 40 plus damage. Let's try the rogue. Doesn't hurt enough. Too easy. That quest is all done now. Did you blame? 
How do you like that, Bard? Too easy. How do you like that, Bard? Too easy. Not fast enough. Have at the fiend. Battle Brothers. Good it's dog. Battle Brothers. They're like battle bots, but worse. <laughs> Too easy. All right, I think I'm done with everything in this town. I've raided all the uh, all the loot. Maybe go back into the pub. Oh, never mind. No going into the pub. If we leave town, maybe now it's going to be like back to the townspeople. Save and find out. Is there a physical release? Was it like a brand new one? We got a disc release. What was it on? Battle Brothers. Everything PS4, PS5, Xbox 2021, yeah. Probably digital only, I'm assuming. Our brother's physical, let's see. No physical release version on any platform. Yeah, a lot of those kind of games, I guess, just get released digitally because, you know, one of those things that's very niche audience. As long as you can find a publisher or a big company, then odds are not going to be, uh, unless like limited run games or something does a release of it. The only chance it would have. And bravely did our bard return to familiar Finstown. Oi, you, open the gates. Haven't you done enough damage already? I saved you from the Vikings, old fool. Saved us? You loosed a dragon on us. For the last time. All right, look, maybe once a long time ago, I might have broken a seal on this gate and this hellish dragon got loose. But I swear, I didn't know there was a dragon inside. <laughs> And even if I did, I never saw him. Aha! You admit it! It was you! Maybe. Now, are you going to let me in or not? Not! Oop. Guess no going back and to town. bravely did our bard retreat from familiar Finstown, never to return. Thankfully. i got a bunch of good stuff, at least. Got some new set of armor, we got a bunch of song upgrades and new songs, we got a bunch of, uh, well, I think we got like one new token. Very nice trip.
Let's see if I can find that uh, that map merchant that was wandering around. I'm assuming that's how you can get most of the other tokens are through these maps. Because there seems to be a lot more tokens than there's like, you know, we're we're almost get done getting all the all the tunes, at least the, the tier one version of the tunes. But we still have like a very small percentage of the uh, the tokens in comparison. Bard would never do that. I was going to touch, by the way. I wasn't a fan of this flail, but now that I got this, uh, the upgrade one is definitely better than the two-hander for, for the charge-up attack. Just because it generally hits forward. You know, miss like three-quarters of your hits. back here. Get back here. Got him. Should be able to afford two now. I think I've got enough money for two. If not three. Healing! Oh, you're a fast one. <laughs> well, now that you've caught me, welcome to my shop. What can you tell me about this? This is a very rare and special item. I'll be willing to part with it, but only because of the special bond we share. I'll take it. Fare thee well! Oh, it's going to get one. Carn of our dog. All right, let's see if I'm right. Most likely, this is going to be a token. Among other things, it's probably a whole bunch of cash. Well, it's probably going to be a whole bunch of traps, too. Maybe a good idea to get the trap dude to.
Just a bit of junk. Let's see if we make back the uh, the money that we spent to get here. Probably will. I know, right? I'm sure, there's not gonna be any rolling boulders or anything. It'd be way too cliche. Those are the most annoying enemies. To hell with they can, like rush laggard. into you from off screen. Not even worth the effort. They can, like trying to block that or dodge that. Trap. Something. Ah, another victory for me. <laughs> Is that a Is he like trying to go through a secret area? Huh. All right. Okay, are these secret areas like that. Right over here. How many secret areas have I missed? Probably quite a bit. Exactly 69. Probably a lot of these, uh, a lot of these, uh, tokens that are in some of these secret areas. So every time we go into dungeons, probably got to have this trap guy out, anyways. I generally do if there's a lot of traps, but I just didn't even think of secret areas. Where are my guys, anyways? Why, why haven't they joined me? And now they join me after the battle. Thanks, guys. Good thing these things are jokes in terms of difficulty. I'm assuming I could have gone to this place uh, well before now. Well, there you go. New token. Would you I knew it. That? I think our level will go up recently because our health is 340 now. I'm not sure if that was a the vitality token. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted no. some of the animal's strength Bonus and ferocity armor. into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. An amulet bearing the symbol of the sea god Lear. Whoever wears it is protected from harm. Is it? 
mean, one one to five is pretty big for armor. Any more secrets? Assuming that is it. Traps! Right over here! I mean, it would have found it weird if I came in here and didn't get a token. But I figure that's the whole point of these these maps is to find tokens. Yeah, let's, let's hope it's not, like, uh, Unlimited Saga bad. One of those, like, oh yeah, it can't be as bad as people make it out to be, and I played it, it's like, oh crap, it's worse. <laughs> I think it's just, it's just one of those, I think it's more just the fact that it's, like, one of those, uh, game styles that not a lot of people like. Like, roguelikes are are not as popular as, you know, other RPG genres, so... May good fortune smile upon you, lad. <laughs> they're not giving us, uh, they're not unlocking things anymore. Unless it's like a random chance of unlocking something when you give them a donation. The bigger the better chance. Yeah. Neversdale I went in Neversdale, but I guess I talked to the priest. May good fortune smile upon you, lad. <laughs> You've been good with your donations. I've a gift for you. Art Gallery 1. Neversdale Forest had been destroyed by recent cataclysmic events, a grim reminder to the Bard that the fate of the world did indeed rest in his hands. Good fortune smile. <laughs> Come on, Matt, dude, where are you? So we can either get a priest or a map dude. Priest again.
have at the fiend. Poison just like chews through your health really fast. I have taken my measure of thee. care of things. Come on, up, dude. Over here. You've caught me. I'll tell you what I'll do for you. I'll sell you some of my treasures, secrets, special things gathered from around the world I have, all for a discounted price, of course. Of course. Hmm, I'm intrigued. Ah, you've an interest in this, have you? Well, I could be persuaded to part with it for a wee bit of coin. I'll take it. A very wise choice. Part of the continent it's on. Does it hurt? Rocks are my friends! Too easy. Come to Mama. down there. Get him. Get him. Which one do we encounter? Do we encounter the trowel or the druid behind us can encounter us first? Yeah, 
Here we got the drown. You've caught me. I'll tell you what I'll do for you. I'll sell you some of my treasures. Secrets. Special things gathered from around the world I have. All for a discounted price, of course. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Sorry, this isn't for sale. What? You must have it, you say? Well, if you must, then I suppose I could part with it. But I warn you, it'll not go cheap. I'll take it. It's a smart man you are to be buying that. So hopefully the, uh, the other map I already purchased before this, which I just sold, I'm assuming I already unlocked the place. The physical map doesn't really matter. I just can't see it from here, so... Grab the last one! me? I'll tell you what I'll do for you. I'll sell you some of my treasures. Secrets. Special things gathered from around the world I have. All for a discounted price, of course. What can you tell me about this? Ah, you've an interest in this, have you? Well, I could be persuaded to part with it for a wee bit of coin. Now we're broke again. Not like we had anything else to spend our money on. Fare thee well. Just hope that uh, once you unlock the place, you can resell the map. So we should have three new places to explore. If I can find them. I feel like one of them would have been like around here or something, but... I don't see anything else in this part of the world. Or if there's any of them that are in the ice area, if we can even go back there in any way. Too easy. Rocks are my friends! The destruction of the tower had caused a great tremor, leaving the mountains all but impassable. So they're all on the west side. Gotta push that Dex. Oh, it's Dex in the lead now. Dex is back in the lead. Sucker! Huzzah. Death to the Bard!
I see you, Bard. Sephiroth Lavastine. Thanks so much for the 52 months of awesome support. How's it going this fun evening? It's this rain that was going on in the game was like putting me to sleep. That woke me up real good. <laughs> What's the problem with this game? The fact there's no music and it's just like environmental sound effects. It's really easy to just start dozing off with the white noise that's happening. This one's going pretty good. Pretty OP at this point. Just going through the paces and like murdering everything. Got some like good upgrades for my uh, characters and I like maxed out stats for like all the important ones. I got like maxed out strength, my vitality. Not quite maxed out uh, rhythm. Although next level maybe? What was my rhythm at? Not quite next level, but next of 19 rhythm next level. To play magic Prisma doesn't really matter. Dexterity, it's not like I really use range all that much. Luck, I'm assuming, has to do with crits. So leveling up luck after dexterity is probably a good idea. Other than that. Yeah, it's a uh, snowblind engine game, so yeah. Same kind of idea. The main differences with this one is the uh, item management is basically non-existent because you have you have uh, four different item types. So you have your like one-handed weapons, you have your two-handed weapons, your uh, flails, and a dual weapon, which I you, you need to have talents to use the two-handed flail and and uh, dual wielding. I've unlocked flail and two-handed. I just never unlocked. Uh, the uh, two-handed, so I haven't bothered. And a bow. And anytime you pick up a weapon that's better than the one you, you already have, it'll replace it automatically. Uh, same thing with armor. So anytime you pick up anything else, it's just automatically converted to cash. So it's very minor in terms of like item management. Uh, in terms of magic, you don't you don't have magic per se. What you do is you have the ability of uh, summoning, depending on the instrument you're using, you can summon one to three so far. I don't know if we'll get four at any point. Uh, partners, which you can choose from a variety of different ones. Everything from like healers to ones that are you know, do elemental damage to enemies, to ones that can like find traps, or ones that are tanky, etc. And... Uh, yeah, it's basically just a pretty basic hack and slash. You know, you do have block, and you have like charge attacks, which you have to unlock, but other than that, it's there's not really much to it. So yeah. Hey, second Nick, thanks for the raid. Welcome raiders to some barge tail goodness. Hacking and slashing. How was Fancy Star 2? I'm oh, enjoying that one. I, I remember, the, the thing I remember the most about Fancy Star 2 was the annoyance of having the the stupid like overlay thing because you know they want to show off the transparency layers <laughs> in the beginning of the genesis era so of course every freaking dungeon has like the the foreground overlay thing going on which is like super annoying and and the dungeons man the dungeons are like so huge and convoluted yeah the raptor pipes yeah I really love throwing those in your view all the time. Yeah, the dungeons are just... Ugh. At, least, at least it's not Fantasy Star 3. And then they, they capped off the series with the best one, of course. Fantasy Star 4 was amazing. Too easy. After that, they just said go online, I guess, with the rest. It's definitely a weird change. They should bring back another. They should have Fantasy Star 5. It's like it needs to do that. Yeah, he has definitely some difficulty spikes, which doesn't help things. And the, name, the game never really gets easy. You know, 
wants to get like some new abilities and some new weapons that helps out a little bit, but yeah. That game is rough all the way to the end in terms of difficulty. Well, I mean, Fancy Star never technically died. Here considering it's... Traps. You know, they still have, like, even the MMOs. You men go to the tower. Once he's inside, seal the doors. Even should he defeat Mananen, that tower will become his tomb. Yes, my lord. Mackay, I have a special task for you. This bard seems more than a match for the men. He is indeed, Master. However, if we're given another chance, I'm sure... We're running out of chances. You must face him. Intercept him before he reaches the tower. Take my pet with you to ensure that he does not survive. He doesn't stand a chance. That's a pet. Yeah. Like, RPGs... RPGs definitely take a lot of effort. Like, you need a pretty... A pretty big team to make an RPG, so it's understandable they wouldn't uh, go all in with an RPG. So there is a spot up there. How the hell did we get to that one? We want to unlock the map. Maybe we had to unlock that one before we uh, we went to the ice area. Now that it's like we're beyond the ice area, we have no way of getting back there. Maybe. Or no, maybe I can just exit from the northern uh, door of the of the town. Great, I guess we need the uh, light fairy here. Time to get blinded constantly every time we have a battle. Oh, exactly. I mean, it's a lot, low, lot less effort, a lot less money to to do that. Let there be light. You know, back in the uh, you know the Genesis days, of course, they were trying to push the Genesis, so they needed something to compete with, you know, the Final Fantasies, right? So the so that was the reason Fantasy Star existed. Now they don't need anything like that, so they have no need to spend the money on trying to trying to do that. It's just not worth it, bang for your buck kind of thing. Should be good idea to keep my my trap finder out. Well, it's Atlas. It's not really Sega. I'm here. Traps, right over here. Where? I don't see any traps. Be here. Must <laughs> Burger and Cola, yeah. Trap. Gotta love when they localize things, Traps. right? Right over here. And even with the light fairy, this place is dark. That's what I mean. Like it's extremely expensive to make a, especially an RPG nowadays. Traps. Like you need a hell of a team. So unless you have, you know, unless your your Squeenix has like all the money to throw at it, or a small indie company that's gonna take like a long time to to make out feel good, does it, young anything man? close. It's just it's not feasible. It's like a definitely. Doesn't want to take a chance doing something like that. I love when the healer just stands in the trap. In the, in the pool. Randomly, my my healer just decides to go in the middle of the trap, waiting for it to crush her. Every time, I don't know why. I smell a trap. So many traps. Any more traps? Hey, 
Careful, laddie. There's a trap. Seems like off the beaten path over there. Which is the secret round. I smell a trap. Do you now? I hate that light fairy. Kind of need him in here unless you want to be completely in the dark. God damn it, light fairy, stop it. Is that an option? Can we turn off flash? <laughs> when light fairy decides to go off. Not a thing. It's so annoying. None of my none of my helpers are damage dealing, but I need the light fairy to not be blind. Although light fairy does blind me anyways. There's like a million traps in here, so you need God damn it. Back in the dark. We're doing this on instruments. Where is he? Yeah. Sorry, twenty six hundred. Stop it. Ah, just a bit of junk. Another priceless treasure for you, lad. There's a trap. Why is it always when we're fighting enemies? He doesn't feel good, does he, young man? So tanky now. Careful, laddie. There's a trap. <laughs> now, and then you get ET on Monday. Like, all right, let's print a million copies of it. It's gonna sell like hotcakes. Who'd have thought that the undead would have such a demand for barrels? Traps! Right over here! So many barrels. Traps! Right over here! Oh. 
Oh, oh. I still got it. It was pretty bad. I mean, I don't know how the hell you would make E.T. a game. Ah, really, but... For me. <laughs> it was rough. Back in the dark again. God damn it. Help. <laughs> Help. Help. Fuck. I'm like surrounded by like a million zombies. My healer's not healing me. Somehow got out of there alive. Barely, Jesus. Take that. So I can't cast another one until I get rid of these. Phew. That was very, very close. Now we're in a place that we need to have the light fairy, but the light fairy gets killed like instantly as soon as we have an encounter. So we're just back into the absolute pitch dark every time. Now that it's much uh, brighter with it with him up, but yet yeah, ET, yeah, <laughs> this one's fine. There, Gamma Max. <laughs> Not that it helps much in this one. Switch them in the lights. The, the funny thing is, you have all these things here that are glowing in that, but as soon as the uh, as soon as the light fairy goes off, they just they just lower the brightness for the entire game. Even though there's like torches on the walls and stuff like that, it just ignores the fact there's light sources. Come to me. Moving as fast as I can. Have some patience. Stand your ground. I'll stay I right here. Attack. Exploring. Back off. Right behind you, dearie. Now you know how I feel, laddie. Lighten up. I need my healer. Careful, laddie. Traps! Right over here! He's the trap guy is like super tanky. Even though he does he can't do Stop. any damage at all. Trap! Definitely takes it. Careful, laddie. There's a trap. Except for poison, apparently. It seems to be really weak to poison. Yeah, yeah, the audio balance in this game is horrible. Like, I have the audio maxed out, like, put out to max, and it's just, like, everything is just too quiet. And the, the bard songs are just, like, absolutely deafening in comparison. Well, there's there's sound effects, which I'm, ass I'm assuming the bard songs are part of sound effects, that I've lowered a little bit. Everything else I've maxed out. So I put the master volume to 11, the dialogue volume to 11, the ambient volume to 11, and sound effects to like 9. And yeah, this is, this is as loud as everything gets. I even have the capture, like, the capture audio maxed out as well. This is as loud as I can make the game. Sort of adding like an actual audio boost in the filter or something like that. 
I don't know why it's so bad. I smell a trap. Definitely one of the quietest PS2 games I've played. <sighs> you better go. Must wait. Stop. Trap. Careful, laddie. There's a trap. Couple of traps. I'm trying to get on two first. I mean, isn't that a trap right there? Traps! Right over here! How do you defuse that trap? Lighten up! Traps! Right over here! Traps! Right over here! This guy really likes being, getting pierced. Healing! Ow. Crap. Right over here. Let's go there last. It's gonna make all my dudes disappear. I'm walking it. Oh, fuck. Ah, great. Now we're stuck in the darkness. That'll be fun. Once again, the bard felt it. Find a little bit chest in here somewhere. Tokens or anything. It's gotta be a token in here somewhere. Or if there's like any secret areas around here. Like the like the dog on fire. Oh, well, that one wasn't trapped. Lighten up. Not really, I mean, Somebody this one's very, very basic hack and slash compared to Diablo and Path of Exile, which have a lot more, like, 
diverse, you know, skills and skill trees. This one's basically just press one button and you're basically just choosing three partners. A lot of times you're kind of, like in this case, we pretty much have to have a light fairy if we want to see what the hell we're doing. I smell a trap. And you almost, almost guarantee you need to heal her all the time. Yeah, the PS2 had them a lot. Like so many any games that use this Snowblind engine like this one. So like the Dark Alliance games, the uh, X-Men Legends, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, Champions Norath, even that Fallout game. A whole bunch that use this engine in the PS2. Why are we even bothering with this? It would be nice to have another, like, attacker, but I don't have enough room. I need the trap finder to see if I can find a secret. Just a bit of junk. It's alive. Jeez. Yeah. Use the same engine as this one. This one's definitely... One of the simplest in terms of uh, what they do in the engine. Like no skill. Well, there's some skills, but very minor amounts of skills compared to most Snowblind engine games. There's a bit of junk. There's like some stats. The, big, the biggest thing with this one is, I guess, the your your, your partners that you uh, you summon. That's your, your, yeah. your entire skill tree, if you will. Treasure chest in here? No treasure. See the Once pink tools too late. Bard felt his magical powers dampened by the shimmering lights. Something else I can actually get some damage out. At least this stuff still works. So far, I haven't found anything new. No treasure, no weapons. No tokens. Just money. There's gotta be something in here. 99% chance is a token at the end of this dungeon. Someone need a light! I'm here. 
I okay. smell a trap. Because he wasn't summoned yet, so I was like, either move out of the way, please. Thank you. Traps, right over here. All right, gotta summon this bastard that blinds you in, in every battle by flashing the light. I smell a trap. I'm not active. Doesn't Ow. feel good, does it, young man? <sighs> Must stop. Trap. All right. There's something rhythm. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with. Comparing this game to Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Gandalf. Yeah, we're talking about the bard here. Traps. Right it's about as here. far from Gandalf as you can possibly get. able to eliminate dungeons only at night Traps. right over here oh, chicken careful laddie Why are we fighting a chicken that was weird chest in here. There's got to be something in here. Must stop. Trap. There's one. All right, token. Where token. Was? White Book of Hergist. All right, Tony, tell us about the uh, the gloves again. Every time you go to the tokens, you always have to repeat the first one because it's the default selected one. No matter how fast I try to move away, it's like, nope. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Plus, that heavy generation. They also smelled very much like a dead badger. A book once thought lost. It is an ancient codex of laws and religious texts. Of course, the bard never actually bothered to read it. Like we really need mana that much. 
Usually not like chain casting summons. Yeah, those zombies use that attack. It's kind of annoying. Right now, I've got to run all the way back. Giving us a teleporter to exit at the end of this dungeon. But no. Can't have that. This would only be like a uh, a pain if you, you know, didn't have the the trap disarmor on the way into the dungeon. You'd still be running into them on the way back. Sure, which one I want to summon? Still missing like one, two, two spells. Ready for some action. All right, let's make a save here. Actually, let's let's get to the other dungeon first. <laughs> And make a save there so I remember where I'm going. And we're gonna have to call it there for tonight. Uh, you find them generally. There's some of them that are given to you as part of uh, as part of the story. Other ones you have to like. You basically find inside chests. Uh, a lot of them can be upgraded too. Like most most of them now I have upgraded. Well, maybe, maybe about half. So the upgrade version is, is just a stronger variation, like the healer heals for more, for example. Oops, shit. Didn't want to do that. I'm assuming, like, some of the other ones do more damage. I don't know what the, the upgraded version of the, uh, the Light Spirit does. Like, what the hell is that going to do? Maybe just more health. Same thing with the uh, the trap finder. Trap finder just seems to have more health. Oops. It's gonna use those things. There's your there's your snowblind engine water physics. Gonna have that in every way Snowblind Engine game. Alright. Let's make a save here. Alright, my, my HP is maxed out. I have maximum uh, strength, maximum vitality at this point. I'm almost maximum rhythm, which increases the power of your summons and stuff. Alright, so yeah. So, uh, call there for tonight. Uh, I will be back on tomorrow, around noon or so. And uh, we'll make some more progress in this thing. I'm assuming we're we're probably heading near the end at this point, so I'm guessing there's only one more stream left. I mean, what else is there really going to be? I'm already like starting to max out like a lot of stuff uh, in terms of ability. In terms of like summons, we're only like, two summons away from getting all the summons. The mercenary. Mind you, there's like probably upgraded variants of the summons. Tokens, I'm sure there's probably a bunch of tokens I missed. But even then, we have... That imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity. It still seems like we have less than half. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like twelve, thirteen, a fourteen. Yeah, fourteen missing out of twenty-five. Of this crown found it easy to garner the respect of others. There's gonna be one Once here. There's gonna be another one in that dungeon I can't reach. There's probably a bunch I missed in other places. Was now worn by 
the bard. Yep, get your votes in for uh, get your votes in for front mission. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll be back on tomorrow. We'll go from there. So let's see if we can raid up there before we uh, head out. Oh, I'm still online. Do, do, do. It's online. I got Mr. J on. Playing some Laplace Noma. That's the next game I don't recognize. So we'll raid up Mr. J JRPG. We'll go from there. So in the meantime, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed some Bard's Tale. I'm not catching them all for the continuation. Maybe the end. Who knows? Of the Bird's Tale. Bye for now, guys. See you next time.